Hello and welcome to Vanguard Tactics. I'm Stephen Box and I'm joined with Jordan. How are you doing, Jordan? I thought you forgot my name then. I did actually. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Just picking it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, this. Who am I playing against? Who's that guy across the table? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hat guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to be playing a 2,000 point live stream battle report for you. I'm going to be running the Black Templars mm -hmm. and you're going to be running the World Eaters. There we go. This mm. is going to be an absolute epic game. This is the exact same list that I took to the Leicester G G T G T, um, where I was fortunate enough to win Best Space Marine Player. Which I'm pretty proud of. You should be, mate. Yeah, you I'm pretty be. happy about yeah, that. Yeah, that's a really good achievement. And this is the first time I've played on stream since. Yeah. So, we thought... Let's see how it goes. Let's put on the table against the World Eaters. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had a few practice games since my last run with these guys. Um, the list has changed a little bit. I'm finally able to use Papa Angron himself. Obviously, we'll go into the list in a minute. Daddy. But Daddy. Daddy Angron. Yeah. If you don't know that, go watch How to Play World Eaters. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to use them. Okay. Yeah. Well, and you've been on a bit of a journey with these guys, so... I have, I have. This is like the evolution of a player with a yeah. faction. Um, yeah, so it's going to be pretty cool. And on the deck tonight, we've got the most handsome man of 40k, Jake. How are you doing, Jake? I'm doing bad, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? I'm doing right? bad, Steve, because, um, well, I can't spoil it because of the lists, but um, I'm very disappointed in you. That's all I'm going to say. Jake, you're always disappointed in me. No, I'm not. Do you remember that one time at Bank? <laughs> Do you remember that one time at Pakistan? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, um, in all seriousness, I'm very much looking forward to it, even if you are a filthy heretic. He's not wrong. He's not wrong, to and be fair. Joined on the deck tonight, we've got Michael. How you doing, Michael? I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, looking forward to this one. Um, also disappointed, but... Such is life in competitive Warhammer. Oh, cry me a um, river. Here we go. I'll put a poll up and we'll see what people think of the situation as well. I was gonna um, tell I was gonna tell everybody <laughs> it was your birthday recently, but now I'm not gonna bother. So well, you just, but you just did. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> oh. See what I did there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I still work. did it, but it's just in that work. kind of yeah. form of oh, aggression. Yeah, Sorry, I was micro aggression. <laughs> micro aggressions, everything, all of it. Yeah, and we've got Seb on the cameras tonight, as usual, working the magic mm. of the cameras. It was mm. Um, we've it. also got the giggling ghost. The giggling ghost. Yeah, they're here somewhere in the Shut background. Shut up! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Look, I did an escape room the other day, and it was literally terrifying. Did it have giggling ghosts then? Uh, worse, it had screaming nuns. Screaming nuns is pretty... That's pretty horrifying. Uh, it was, actually. Um, did that with Ben Mudge mm. and his partner Janice. We did an escape room. Did you escape? We did. Well, you're here. With, so. uh, I think, like, 19 minutes left to go or something. But we did we, we did well, okay. but it was terrifying. I'm not, yeah, it sounds it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, if, a, if a, like, a terrifying, like, nun jumped out at me in the escape room, I'd probably punch it straight in the face. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm. Just out of reaction, like, <gasps> bang! Yeah, yeah, just a square in the face. Yeah. It, it was a live actor, um, and it, we had to basically solve Pandora's box. It was a real nun. Did you punch the nun? H.A. Tracy. Oh, no, no, no. You said anyway. actor. <clears throat> no, anyway. no, the actor was alive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that was quite uh, entertaining. Anyway, and if you don't follow Ben, go and check out his channel, More Warhammer. It is absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. um, go give him a subscribe and love and some likes and everything else you guys do. So uh, yeah, go and support Ben. Anyway, uh, we've got to talk about today the most important thing, which is mission. the mission. Yes, Michael. so the mission today is priority targets. Um, what this is, is each player at the end of their command phase is going to score five victory points for each objective marker they hold, up to a total of 10 per um, turn. Then at the end of the game, each player is going to score five victory points for each objective marker they hold, to a total of 15, which does mean that the player going second could score at the end of their turn a whole 25 points, if they play their cards right. There's chilling rain, and as you can see, we've got uh, search and just no, it's crucible of battle deployment. So we've got those uh, sort of triangles, and then the five objectives. Uh, two of the objectives are a little harder to see, but there's one in that top sort of square building on the left, one in the bottom right, um, uh, and then where they've just pointed to as well. That's the mission. I like it. All right. I didn't listen to a word of that, did you? No, I just said I'd liked it just to make it seem that we were actually listening. But now you've given it away. I like it. All I heard was that I can score 25 points at the end of the game. If you go second. Right, cool. Yeah. Nice. All right, should we just do that roll-off and, and see 
who's won the game. Can I um? Just... Can I can I pay you before we play? Oh, we're like oh, damn! Should have got it in before the game. Unbelievable. <sighs> hey, Vanguard Tactics Code of Conduct Rule Six. You always are Steve. You have to let Steve win. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and com- better about himself. And also compliment me on my great Look. hair and looks. You have beautiful hair and looks. Thank can you. I go You're looking extra orange today. Mm. Ooh, extra orange, eh? Yeah, well, just slumming it. Just slumming it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on, um, we've got some armies to talk about. So, Stephen, mm? talk us through your Templars. All right, then. Are you ready for this? Are we ready, no. everyone? Are you ready are for the moment? Of are you ready, ready to boo? Ready. I'm so ready. Okay, so... so ready. He's on the right-hand side there. There Le- he is. Shh. Quiet. Leading the force today, we have the High Marshal Helbrecht. Yay. Okay. Mm. We've also got... The Emperor's Champion. Yay! Woo, woo, woo. We have a Captain Yay. with a Mastercrafted Power Sword and a Relic Shield and the Enhancement, the Honor Vayman. Mm. Is his shield his little doily cloth? Then we also have one Judaser. Yay! Mm. We've then got, in for battle line units, oh. the Assault Intercessors. Yay! One of them's got a Power Fist. We've then got six Centurion Devastator Squads, a.k.a. Small Tubbies. Mm. Tubs. <laughs> We've got five infiltrators. Mm. We've then got two land raiders. Yay! We've then got three units of five sword brethren with all the bells and all the whistles because mm. it is Christmas. And of course, we've then got three units of scouts. And there we go. That's the list. Uh, no, Steve. Can we just uh, rewind back to the characters? I was <clears> promising <throat> to boo. What is the final character in this list? Just Stephen a, Box of Vanguard Tactics. Just a character in Phobos armor. And what type of character would that be? Uh, he likes books. Likes oh, books. Oh, does he? What, kind of, mm. what type of books? <laughs> Gladius attachment. Um, there we go. Cool. So your your list, mate. What is it? Are we going to let him off that easy, guys? He's got a librarian. <laughs> Sorry for your ears there. Take him off oh. the field. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh, a librarian not watching. Libyan BT heresy. That's right, the polls are 86%. Steve should ought to lose for taking a librarian with the you black win My opponent <laughs> and his librarian. <laughs> <laughs> so, a couple of super chats. Uh, Ian James, evening all. Let's go, George the Betrayer. Sorry, Boxy. You shut your mouth when you're talking to We've me, got Ian. Grimdark Ash, something for the Jake Vegas Fund. Looking forward to seeing you guys out there next month. And I owe Death Guard Dave a drink from Leicester. It was £20. What a legend. Oh, right. Absolute legend. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, mm. thanks, Ash. Mm. Cheers, Ash. Mm. Okay, cool. So, Jordan. Yes. What's in your list? Well, nobody cares what's in your list, all right? You shut your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> wow, the Sorry. microaggressions. Yeah, well, yeah, but on. anyway, back to my list. So, we've got Daddy Angron. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Woo! So, Daddy's in the list. We've got Khan, the Betrayer. We also have Master of Executions, with the one and only Berserker Glaive. Um, we do also have a Lord on Juggernaut, not Lord Invocatus. Oh. So he's running around with the favour to corn. I say running around, he's not moving anywhere. No, he's actually, he's, he's got a telephone call to make, so he's sitting there for the whole game. Um, then we've got two Rhinos, trusty Rhinos for the World Eaters. We have six normal eight bound. We've got three units of three exalted eight bound. They're all in the sky, just flying. Um, and then we've got four units of five Berserkers. Lovely. I really like that's that list. the list. Okay, to be honest, it just looked like a lot of red and some muscly men. They had some Blood Angel Rhinos. It's not wrong. Mm. I, think they I had to have some Blood Angel in there. <laughs> they're, they're orange and slumming it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the list. Okay. So, a couple of questions. Which are you doing, tactical or fixed? Tactical. Tactical. Okay, and then do you have anything in reserves? Yes. Lots. Most of his army. No. <laughs> so nothing in reserves for the Black Templars and the World Eaters have... Three units of three Exalted Eight Bound. Okay. Because they've right. got Deep Strike. All right. So, ready then? Yep. For the roll-off. What colour dice are you rolling? The red one? I'll roll the red. All right, I'll roll the blue, which nobody had to see, so I can just make up the number. You rolled a five. I didn't want that. I want to see how blind Steve doesn't are. roll sixes. Three. C. C. World Eaters turn one. Yeah, I didn't pay you early enough. So, would you like to scout move anywhere? Absolutely not. You can't. Oh, you can actually with the eight bound. Would you like to? I can't, no. You can, you can move up to nine inches away from my scouts. No. No? Okay, all right then. Yeah, I'm good. So then I can. 
um, scout move. So I'm just going to move back <laughs> so that you cannot end <laughs> within 12 inches of the dudes over here. Yep. Because I don't want you charging my land raider or uh, my... This is so rude. Yeah, cool. Uh, these guys here, well, I don't really want you running around here either. So they're kind of, they can step back a bit. <laughs> That's a different unit. That's a different unit, cool. Yep. And then that unit is going to move this way. So the, the, for the less eagle eye, there are three scouts units across the center line. Take these away now. Just scout moving. There's also a Phobos librarian, very well camouflaged Burn. in that top left square building. Doo -doo. I don't think Steve should be allowed to win this game. No, same. I don't think you should get any CP until that librarian instead. Yeah, I think he should, um, as somebody stated in chat, that uh, BT Libby better start in stat reserve and stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Uh, Sindri Tip. I'm, I'm going to butcher this. Michael, do you want to give it a go? Uh, Sindri Tepek. Sure. Say that's my face, yeah? That's what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if there wasn't three night spinners absolutely everywhere. I don't have oh, night yeah. spinners. There's literally right none on table. <laughs> Look, I'm bringing my Leicester list, all right? Let me oh, finish. Okay, Why, right, right. You did you like play a... any night spinners at Leicester? Uh, yes, I did actually. I played three. How many times? Once. <laughs> <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> and I also played against three exorcists. Mm. Oh, sc oh, oh, scary! <laughs> do you have any idea what they do? Yeah. Funny enough, uh, there was a doubles tournament at the weekend, and actually one squad of Caskin survived two exorcists the entire game. Yeah. So the whole uh, game. Yeah. Three exorcists are actually terrifying. They're a bit fluffy. They're very intimidating. I'll Fl give you that. Fluffy. They don't really like do much. To From my experience, who's playing been playing them? them? KB. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. right, well, there we go. Right, okay, anyway, moving on. So, uh, yeah, three exorcists, pretty good. Mm. Who would have thought uh, that indirect was good? Okay, mate, well, over to you. It's your turn one. You can mute us, and we'll have a quick word from our well, sponsor, the Outpost. We'll do the, the blood roll. Oh, of course. Blood yeah. roll. Sorry. Yeah. I can't bring Gangaron back. But he's not dead yet. So. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so re-roll it. I've got... I want Gangaron back. I'm not going to re-roll it. You've got I'm, a good double. Yeah, so I'm going to give myself feel no pain. And give myself plus two move. Okay, well done. All right, good choice, awesome. good well, on to the move phase. Let's take a moment to appreciate Colourforge, our fantastic sponsor. Their range of spray paints has become our go-to for making our miniatures come to life quickly and efficiently. The quality and variety of colours they offer are truly a match, providing a smooth application for stunning effects every time. Check out Colourforge for your next hobby project. Alrighty. So first turn for the World Eaters. What do you think the implications are of going first in this mission, Jake? Well, cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not like this going in this going first this mission. Like the only benefit of it is you get to get on the objectives first, but ultimately going second is is a massive benefit in this mission. Yeah. Because well, you score at the start though of turn five either way, don't you? No matter if you go first. I think if you go second, you score at the end of uh, about round five. I'm pretty sure you score at the start. Or maybe it is at the start. But but either way, it's still irrelevant because you still get to just decide where yeah. you are at the end. Yeah. <laughs> like that's more what it is. It's very, it's very good. Um. So yeah. So that's that's in, you know that that's that's a big thing for this mission. And I think the other thing, like the only benefit for Jord is that he's gonna be able to slingshot his army about a bit quicker. But because Steve had such an insane scout block. Mm. It's not like he can do a lot with it, right? No, yeah, it's it, it's very difficult. Um, World Eaters are uh, an army that because they can't take any infiltrators, anyone that can block their scout moves turn one mm. um, completely neuters a lot of the points in the army. And actually, the fact that um, Jordan doesn't have Avocado, uh, sorry, the Lord Invocatus, is mostly irrelevant. Well, Other yeah. than the fallback and, and charge, he's going to kill whatever he charges into. Mm. Um, the scout moves mean nothing because these these well, other can, scouts are can't do anything in the way. Uh, so it, there is a real struggle, I think, um, with some of that for players that are less experienced um, when they're playing armies that can't infiltrate. Mm. Like even Votan, Votan are doing very well, but if you stop them doing any of their scout moves by just having a line oh, it, of infiltrators, yeah, it, it happens them massively. It, yeah. The other thing as well is like George winning the roll off as well is also a bad thing for his scout moves because it means he has to do his first, right? That's right, yeah. So you have to do yours first, yeah. then you alternate. 
and where, then going from whereas there. Whereas, like, even if you, ha- if you have one unit of scouts, let's say, and then they win the roll-off, it means they have to move their scouts first. Yes. So let's yeah. say they did want to move them back a bit. I don't know, like... You may do that for tactical reasons, but then that you can then the scout move. But yeah. either way, it's a good tactic versus World Eaters to essentially set up a big line like we saw Steve do mm. and just take it on the chin. Yes. Um, and, you know, you'll see that George, um, George will probably kill some scouts turn one, but yeah, it's what, like a hundred and... Uh, 165 points for like three yes. of scouts yeah that's like nothing is it the problem is he just has to yeah. he has to go for it otherwise they're just going to step forward yeah. and block him in the other argument as well you have is doing things like which i've done in the past versus world eaters and, and or no what not versus world eaters i've seen world eaters players do sorry and michael you can you can tell me if i'm mad but like shooting you are mad thank you mad handsome i know thank you and you have great hair Thanks. So, like, you shoot the scouts, let's say, reduce them to, like, one model, mm. and then you charge the scouts, block yourself off from basing that model, and then it means the other two models can go where they want. Yeah. And then at least, like, that way you can sort of, like, slingshot, in quotation marks, mm. yourself across. Like, it's a pretty, like, ballsy manoeuvre. Yeah. But if it does work out, then you can be... That's the only thing you can really do mm. here. Whereas George really has just got to... He's just got to play it safe, don't you think, Mike? Yeah, I mean, it's what tough think? because... He does want to play it safe because of um, the, the end game scoring yeah. uh, aspect. But if he doesn't score points now, because he's, he's going to struggle to get primary mm. in his next turn um, due to all of the, you know, the, the Templars that can now threaten him, especially on that objective. Um, so it is a struggle going first, I think, um, on a mission like this. So I would go and I would kill all the scouts with as cheap stuff as possible. Mm-hmm. And then accept the losses that come and then play KG the rest of the game. Okay. I think that's probably what I would be looking at doing. We're, sorry, I was going to say like, I've just noticed Jordan doesn't have any jackals. No, that's unfortunately, I think jackals are one of the best units in the world in yeah. his book. Especially with the demon prince. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. But having a unit of jackals would have probably been a bit helpful here just to, because then he doesn't need that solo lord, right? Mm. Yep. But the Solo Lord's nice. But yeah, dying on objectives and making them sticky. Another uh, good yep. way to play uh, around the fact that you don't have many units. Mm-hmm. I would probably be looking to take advantage of that if I could um, by sending units out to kill scouts then dying on the objective. Mm-hmm. We've got lots of MSU Berserkers, so that is a potential opportunity. Um, but it's it's a tough one. There's a lot of really strong firepower uh, in, in this Templar's Army combined with sword brethren that are really good in combat they're so good aren't they um, I love them of course a very well rounded um, list I think they're mega um, but Marcus has been a member for 11 months so thank you Marcus oh, thank you we very much appreciate that he said blood for the emperor or something like that keep up the great work guys really enjoying your content well thank you Marcus and the fact you've been a member for 11 a month is, is probably an testament to we're doing something right, so thank you, and I uh, hope you are enjoying yourself, and you're going to enjoy this stream. Yeah. I know I am. I'm very much looking forward to seeing, seeing Steve's list actually do stuff, whereas I was at Leicester with Steve, but I didn't really get to watch many of his games, to be honest. Yeah, this is this is an, uh, going to be a good show of kind of what a very balanced build looks like and how it plays on the table. Um, and, you know, World Eaters, you can't underestimate them. Um, and we always kind of hold that sort of uh, approach to games anyway. Mm-hmm. Never underestimate your opponent. Because if you do give them opportunities, World Eaters can take them um, with the plus two moves and the advances and charges and the auto advance six and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what a careful and balanced approach with the Templars is. Um, Steve is there helping draw it out a little bit <coughs> with, with some of the, the moves and maybe some plays that could be made. Um, of course, nobody knows Steve's army better than he does. That is true. So um, throwing in a little, a few, you know, uh, ideas and helping Jord really, really get to grips with this World Eaters army mm. is, is fantastic. Yeah, there's there's a lot to be said regarding that. So, yeah, we can talk about that in a bit. But All right. Uh, so back to the table then. No. Right, guys. Okay, right. So I've been a bit cautious for the first turn. Um, I've kind of accepted that I have to throw Angron out. I'm, we'll see at the end of the game whether or not I should have deep-striked him to begin with. Maybe that might have been a better play with Angron in this matchup. 
But anyway, I've moved him up and he's actually going to cleanse the objective for me. So... Sorry, I was just wanted to ask what your cards are. So oh, my cards, sorry. One of them. So I've got cleanse and overwhelming force. Okay. So Angron's gone up. He's cleansing that objective there for me. Nice. Um, and then I've also got out the Master of Executions with his five Berserkers. So they've got out of the Rhino and they've moved up ready for a charge onto some scouts here. Um, so that's kind of the play I've done over here. We've moved this Rhino up here with Khan and the other two units of five Berserkers as far up as possible just to get behind this Ruin. And then I've also advanced and I got a six on my advance with my... Eight bound, and I've managed to move into the centre building again, um, ready for future turns. Um, and yeah, that's where we're at with everything. We're just trying to play a bit cautious. I know Steve's gonna has got a really big combat punch as well, so I don't really want to kind of throw everything away first turn. All right. right. Let's shooting see. Shooting face. Absolutely not. Um, so I'm gonna charge the um, the corn berserkers and the master executions into those. So scouts. I was tempted to squad tactics, you know, earlier. But I to? thought, no, because I thought if I roll badly, then I'm not even moving, so it's just a waste of a CP. Mm -hmm. So you're within seven, you need a six inch charge. Six inch charge. Use this with the eight, man. You're in. Uh, that's the seven. Shall I move you in? Yeah, yeah, please. Seven. And then I'll just do the. Um, we'll do the Master of Executions first. Well, he'll probably kill the He'll unit. probably kill the whole squad. So he gets D3 extra attacks and damage here. Yep. He gets one extra attack and damage. Okay. So Master of Executions. He's so obviously get... the normal plus one because you charged. Yeah, and then plus one because of um, Berserker Cleave. Yeah. So he's hitting on twos here. Yep. Uh, they've all hit. And remember that you should have picked an ability for Angron at the start of the charge phase. So which one would you have had? Reroll yeah. misses? Yeah, reroll. Well, yeah, reroll yeah. misses. That's probably what I would have gone for. Yeah. Um, so it's strength seven, so strength eight. So be twos to wound here. Cool. Cool. Um, so... That is five wounds at AP2. Six up saves. Six up saves. Four oh, dead. One's, up, one's alive. Uh, Berserkers. I'll just do the guy with the big chainsword. Yeah. Hopefully that. I'm happy to pick him up, mate. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, cool. Very honourable. Yes. Very honourable of you, sir. No, no worries, no worries. Um, could you consolidate them so that they're like an inch away from the wall for me, please? I can do that, yeah. No. <laughs> I don't want to make it an easy charge. I've learned that lesson against Mike a few times. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my turn. Yep. So all I'm going, to, I'm going to get cleanse for I think three points. Yeah. And then overwhelming force for three points as well. Nice. So you get six points. Six points first turn. Good job, Lovely. Cody. Who? Right. Well, before we uh, go and mute me, could mm -hmm. you please shuffle my deck? I gain a CP up to two. I think George should pick two cards, and you have to do them. What cards do you think I should get? As in, like, fan much. them out and then let George pick two. No, 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 it's right. I say, no, I like two. it when people do. I think it's really fun. First one is oh. bring it down. Okay, so kill Angron. Angron. <laughs> Second one is capture enemy outposts. Okay. It's not impossible for you. Uh, right, <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> it's not wrong. <laughs> I'll a little think about my doctrines. Probably devastated doctrine. Um, yeah, probably going to dev doc, I think. Okay. Get me some extra movement. So that's probably what I'll do. And I will, more than likely, Oath of Moment, Angron. Unless nice. I change my mind what? when I've done some measuring. So you can mute yeah. us um, and I'll have a little think about what I'm going to do. Very good. All right. Well, that was very passive. Capture enemy outpost. Not great. Not really on the. Well, it is on the cards. I mean, they're scouts. Do you know what? As well. I also date like in a good in a way it's actually sort of good either way you get this out turn one. Yes. Because the amount of times people say it's a bad thing, I actually think it's so great because then in the clutch moment it's not going to turn up. Yes, you know it's gone. Yeah, it's a really <sighs> good point. Um, actually, I the... hate it when like when someone gets it turn one and they're like, "This is so bad." I'm like, "No, it's not." No, now you know it's gone. Yeah. Now, yeah, now yeah. I, I, if anything, I'm there like. <sighs> yeah. yeah, I mean, if my opponent draws it, I'm like, well, I can't rely on them getting a bad draw later on. Mm. Um, so I'll try and take advantage of this moment. Uh, but you're absolutely right. I think uh, that's one of the more tactical aspects of the game is actually knowing what's left in the deck. So when you now go to put units in reserve using um, you know, in-game abilities, or if you are looking to move up the table or commit some of your resources to objectives or, or destroying enemy units you know what cards you might draw later in the game um interestingly when i was playing uh at this doubles event with mm -hmm. with seb with sebi 
he kept he kept reminding me, oh, well, what if they draw Assassinate next turn? See? And we had a Hexmark Destroyer and it was like, he was like, you're absolutely right. What if we draw, what if they draw Assassinate? And there was one turn where they did and we gave it five and points. That's, and then it you was... So you should have listened to Sebi. It was actually really interesting yeah. seeing Seb think about how the points traded up yeah. or down. And then you kind of like, it does change your... Um, view of how you score and, and the way yeah. the game needs to go. Seb, Seb's a sleeper 40k expert because he has to where, where obviously Seb does a lot of editing on the videos like naturally if you're just hearing people talk you would, do you know what I mean? It like yeah. goes in doesn't it? <laughs> like, well, it's, it's like uh, having an audio book um, of while you're sleeping. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He actually gets first exclusive access. Yes, to he does. He gets one. exclusive yeah. First access, he yeah. gets to see yeah, a video yeah. before he's, it comes out. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, um, and people, we're we're 177 people watching, so thank you for that. But there's only 35 likes, which is um, That's disgraceful. So disgraceful. if you do us At a least favor, get to 88. Yeah, do us a favor, like the video, p- please, because it really helps, and it's all I want for Christmas. So, yeah, so please do that. Jake, you're doing LVO now. I am. So people get to meet the, the handsome side of 40k? They do. They do. Not at the moment because I've got plaster on my nose. But <laughs> no, once that's gone, yeah. And I've had my hair cut. Have you decided what faction you're going to take? I'm taking Votan. Votan. And Excellent. because... So there's two reasons why I'm taking Votan. Okay. So I was tempted to take the Muscle Beach list I took last week. And that's Jeans in the Cult? Yeah, because the goal for this event, I'm not going to lie, is just to have fun and meet people, right? Like I say, so I think having fun is 20 aberrants, just sort of muscling it across the table. That sounds like fun to me. However, I did think to myself and I thought, I love my Votan and I played them last year and I got to rep them last year. Or this year, sorry. So I might as well do the same. Yeah. yeah, and I love them a lot. I'm, so. I'm actually very glad that you've gone with that because yeah. Votan are sort of well, like I got, they're, they're your army. I got a new um, St- Stevie Wonder very kindly gifted me a um, the Ancestors Wrath, which is the champion with the hammer and the shield. Very cool. Um, that I missed out on this year um, because um, yeah, she's to be honest, I just one. missed out on it because I just completely forgot when it was in shops. Yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> I fair. thought it was in the shop the week. The week before, uh, the week after, mm. so I went in the shop to buy it, and they would all sold out. So I was very sad. Um, but Steve gave me that, and I've got a champion in my list anyway. So I'll get this all painted Perfect. for the detriment of Steve uh, when I say I'm <laughs> painting a model. Um, but yeah, no, I'll be really looking forward to it. So um, yeah, so thank you, everyone. Um, yeah, yeah, fantastic. I mean, we've got some people who want you to take Muscle Beach. Don't you know? <laughs> yeah. I think I think Votan is the. I think the Votan's call. the shout, but you know, I, I do love my Muscle Beach because it is fun and, and it just you, you're getting a bit of character, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's more. I like to think Beachhead. Mm. Maybe if I go to Beachhead, well, yeah. when I go to Beachhead, I may take Muscle Beach to that because it's very appropriate. And that's a tournament in the south of the UK, yeah. in the in Bournemouth, and in Bournemouth. it's in February. And if anyone wants to go, I definitely recommend it. It's very good. Yes, I'm going as well. Yes, I missed out last year on it because yeah. I was so focused on the academy. But yeah. I'm looking forward very much yeah. to. I, to I'm definitely I'm definitely going. Um, whether I play or not is a different matter. Oh, okay. Um, because where we have we, we we have the ITT as well. Yes, the international yeah. team tournament and here LVO. In the UK. Um, it's just a bit, it's a lot to do in a small space of time. Yes, yeah, a lot's happening. So I've decided that I spoke to the organiser and I said, um, Adam, and I said, look, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I'm going to want to play. However, I still want to go. Mm. And he said, well, you're more than welcome to come and just help out and everything. So, yeah. So Little People Painter said, Muscle Beach or join my tier- cheerleading team. <laughs> Giggly ghost. When I find you, <laughs> I will come over there. <laughs> okay, so the Land Raiders move forward. We've disembarked the Assault Intercessors. This is a nice, cheap trading unit. Beans. They get real wounds on objective markers. They do. They actually are quite a solid. Yeah. I think yeah. they're definitely an underrated unit, these Assault Intercessors. Because yeah. they, um, like when Oath of Moment changed. Mm-hmm. Um, with losing re-roll wounds, it was. Oh, sorry. Oh. Look, oh. He's just Steve's just boring. Asleep. Steve's just boring me with his movement. Um, no, I think um, when a for moment changed and it changed to re-roll hit, like wounds, then re-roll hits rather than re-roll both. Right. Like having units like 
you know, assault intercessors are still quite useful mm. because they get that. Yeah, I agree. And it's paired with a, uh, a captain mm. um, with that ability to get plus three attacks and devastating wounds once per game. So being able to reroll those wounds on an objective marker to get devastating wounds is quite interesting for that one turn like punch. Yeah. And of course you get that free battle tactic, yeah. which could be Lance and an extra AP. And now suddenly these assault intercessors, the, the, the eight points, are actually punching quite well above their weight. Uh, they are very, good. Very they are good. And um, yeah, the little captain in them really does help, doesn't it? So yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, so with S Steve's being quite aggressive with that Land Raider, do you, think he, do you think Steve's got a bit of free reign in this game in a way because of how tanky these Land Raiders are? Yeah, there's no shooting to come back at him. No. So he doesn't need to worry about shooting. Um, and he the, wants Jordan to come at him, right? Yeah, and the most dangerous, uh, I think, ranged weapon uh, Jordan has actually is the grenade strap. <laughs> uh, I think Steve's ready at the table, so uh, let's. Oh, he's just oh, he's, he's just, just measuring. Double checking stuff. I expect to hear all about the movements you've made. What's going on? Okay, so what I've done is I've advanced a scout so an inch behind the wall over here. That means that it'll make uh, Jordan's charge much longer to get to me. Uh, they're screening out nine inches to there. I've brought the Libby, uh, the guy who likes his books, back a little bit, oh. um, and he is screening out nine inches over there, 12 inches to here from this unit is nine inches to there, and then 12 inches to here is not enough for Jordan to put his exalted eight bound over here. 12 inches to here is nine inches or 10 inches to there, uh, but unfortunately, uh, the eight bound bases are bigger than an inch. Then I've advanced the unit around here. I've got the Judaser. Okay, just towing onto the objective. That unit gives me fight first in case Jordan decides to charge me with the uh, eight bound. So then I can then pile in and then fight with my unit here. Uh, in fact, I don't even even need him to be on the objective. He can just sit inside here, I think, actually. That's very good of him. He'll just sit back there. Uh, so then if they do get charged, then of course, this unit can then pile in and stuff like that. The scout's just creating a bit of a charge block. So this unit becomes as hard to charge as possible forcing Jordan to make multiple charges if he wants to get into here and they've got good overwatch. Um, yeah, and I've O for moment anger on. I'm in the Devastated Doctrine, so everything's kind of advanced, so it can all advance and shoot. And I've got two CPs, which is super important because I've ex got out here with the captain and uh, after the Land Raider moved. Mm. He's got OC5. Okay. You're OC6. Uh, Berserkers are OC2 each. Yeah, I know that, but they might not be there in a minute. Okay, so, sure. Angron's OC6, right? Oh, uh, yes, OC6, yeah. Okay, so I might better take it, might not. We'll see what happens. Um, so there we go. Okay. Let's see if I can kill Angron. So first of all, we're going to no. going to open up with this Land Raider. Yep. Okay, um, I'm going to put everything it. into it, including the Hunter Killer Missile. Okay, sure. In fact, let's not do that. Let's go with this unit here first uh, with the Assault Centurions. Let's do it. Are you ready? This is six LAS cannons. I'm ready, mate. Well, as ready as I can be. Take your bets. Angron's going to go. <laughs> so two miss. Reroll these two because of a moment. They still miss. That's not Ooh. a good start. That was good, actually. Then wounding on threes. Three wounds, please. And they get twin linked for okay. in buns. I might want to reroll one for a CP. Okay. So I'm going to roll them one at a time. Okay. All good. Takes it. You could see damage and you could see Steve's damage. Yeah, can you and, do the damage? And then, and then you could decide if you want to reroll the next save, if that yeah. makes sense. Sure. Five damage. Okay, so I've got five feel no pains. Isn't it yeah. D6 six, plus right? one? Six. Oh, it's six because oh, yeah, it's plus six. one, yeah. yeah. So you can take your feel no pains. Six. Right, yeah. So the next one, the last save, which I take, I'm going to CP reroll. Remember, that. I've still got another eight LAS cannons yeah. and the rockets and the multi melters from here. After seeing six damage, George, personally, I wouldn't reroll it. But considering there's still more to come. A reroll probably is. Uh, Michael, you can more All comment right, yeah, on this, yeah. right? Yeah, go on then. Do the damage on this guy. Yeah? Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah, do right. the damage, yeah. Michael said three, I'm right. Three. He agreed three. with me. And I take a three. So I've taken eight so far. Cool. Corn's then number. Eight? Nine, sorry, nine, because oh, it's oh. six and Not then the corn's number. Then the rockets. <laughs> <laughs> a very average roll, actually. It's perfectly average. The most average roll. That is roll the I've... most average roll I've ever seen. That is literally nearly the average. That was yeah. five fours and a three. Okay. So threes. That's why they call me Stephen Average Ball. This certainly wasn't average. Um, okay, take those out. And then we're looking strength nine. Something's 11. So fives regardless. 
Okay, that was good. Ooh. That was above average. That was definitely above average, everybody. So, six saves, please. AP two, so AP one because of cover. Yep, so three ups. Yep. Uh, take three. Oh, no. Take three. Get the three went through, yeah. D3 damage each. Again, very average roll. So These that is six damage. Not a single fill and a pain. So six, so 15 damage so far. So I'm on one left. One left. Cool. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Mm. All right then, nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, she just rubbed salt in the wound and just chucked a grenade in. Whoop. Imagine. But, um, okay, so next up, we're going to go with this land raider here. Yep. Everything into Angron. Uh, yep. I'm not going to shoot the hunter killer, okay? Sure. Heavy bolter first. Three hits are sustained. And then we're looking for... Sixes. Sixes, nothing. Uh, then we'll go with the four Laz cannons. Three hits. Threes to wound. Two wounds, please, sir. Two wounds. Not a single one. Okay, cool. Uh, so you're looking at... Two plus four is six damage. Would you wanna, uh, He's dead. He yeah, is. Angron is dead. Does he deadly to mice? <gasps> no. Bye, oh, Angron. And on that note, we have um, Clayton Sanford's been a member for seven months. What's up, gents? Sorry, Steve. Got a pull for Corn's second choice. Uh, I mean, after that, Angron, it would be my second choice too. Uh, does Jake still need some donations for the hotel at LVO? He certainly does. That's for sure. Well, there you yeah. go, you heard it. And I think uh, Jordan needs some emotional donations. I'm good, I'm good. Don't worry, I've got Angron. this. <laughs> yeah, now, to give you a bit of a uh, context behind that, um, the chat kindly donated last week $1,000 for Jake to fly to Las Vegas, as that was the one thing that was stopping him from going. Um, and I've paid for his flights. Uh, that's already been now paid for. And um, basically, YouTube obviously take their cut, then I have to pay tax and VAT. So we have paid for the flights, but there was a little bit outstanding. We've covered it so far, but any other donations are going to be amazing to help Jake get the hotel, have some spending money so he can enjoy his time out there when we go to Las Vegas. So that'll be absolutely awesome. Um, yeah. So that's a little bit of context behind mm. Jake's road to LVO, and we'll be mm. documenting all this on our members' content as well. And we're yes. going to strap a gay pro on me. Right. <laughs> On my head, and I'm going to go exploring. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I got aggressive here was so I could draw a line of sight to these guys. It's mm -hmm. only going to be the um, multi-melter into here, though. Yeah. Because I still want to get bring it down. Okay, sure. Okay, so I'm going to put the four Laz cannons into this rhino. Yep. And along with the hunter <coughs> killer. So, they've missed. Into the rhino. Two wounds. AP3, because you will get cover. Oh. AP2. Right. AP2. Hold your horses. Oh Clayton Sanford, $200. Hope this helps. Merry Christmas. Oh, you absolute oh, legend. Absolute legend. Thank mate. you, Clayton. I nearly swore. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you so much. That's very appreciative of you. I don't, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, mate. There's a lot a very, of kindness. Very, very yeah. generous Christmas gift. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much, definitely. mate. Thank I love so Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> and just for you. I'll stick a GoPro on my head to <laughs> go around <laughs> LVO. Oh, so thank you. That really means the world. Thank you so much, mate. Yeah, thank you, mate. Uh, oh, two, two five saves, up saves. Two five up saves. Lots of kisses. Make one. Jake. Okay, D6 damage. Seven damage on the Rhino there, Geordie. Well, don't worry. I've got Phil no pain. So you know. Are you going to LVO, Clay? There oh. we go. <laughs> Only taken four. Okay, then. So the Hunter Killer hits. Does it wound? It does not wound. Oh, you're going to CP it? Absolutely not. Right, the two <laughs> multi-melters into the eight bound. One hits, one wounds. Uh, will I get cover? You'll get, uh, you will get oh. cover against a multi-melter, but it's AP4, so I think it's going to put you on your invun, mate. Yes, sorry, I didn't realize I had the invun. I'm all good. You're all good. Right, really, uh... oh, heavy bolter. That was, I said yes. it, the rhino, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so that's an extra hit. And we're looking for fives because it's twin link. That's two saves AP, one AP nothing because of cover. All good. You are lucky. Punk. Loved it, mate. Loved lucky, it. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Right, well, that concludes my shooting phase. You'll be pleased to know. Nice. Now we're into the charge phase. These little gentlemen into yep. your gentlemen. Oh. Okay, my they've made gentleman. it on an eight. On an eight. Oh, I love Corn's it. Number. I love it. Corn's number here. Um, I'm going to put my character on this side of the wall if sure. I can and basically block out his ability to actually make base to base. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Lovely. So because he can't get base to base, he's going to start to stay this side. Yep. Right, and then I'm going to spend two CPs to fight and death. You'll fight. Nice. Right, and yeah, I get... you fight and death on fours, or is it just... I just fight and death, fat. mate. Okay. Yeah, nice. they get, like, super fight and death. Cool. Because it... Do I have anything that I could do? It. Now, the reason why I've left this character on this side of the wall is so that, basically, I can't get precisioned by your master execution. Right, sure. And I'm still within the engagement range of this model here. Yep, I like it. Thank you. Um... I could get plus one to wound here because mm. it's a vehicle, it's a character unit. All right then, I'm gonna do that. Gonna waste your CPs, okay? I like it. I like it. Well, Berserkers with plus one to wound seems quite nice. It does, yeah. Um, so I get six attacks with this guy because he is. And I do have the honor veinment, which I need to remember. Is the fight and death? And I will be using my once per game. Can you use your once per game? Well, I hope so. Is also is he fighting? Is I the battle? Out, is it? the fight and death not a battle tactic? No. Oh, I thought it was. So we're uh, just well, checking here. I mean, I can use the battle tactic for freezies. Yeah. Oh, I can armor contempt. What's your AP? Um, AP for this guy is AP two. Oh, whoopsies. AP two. <laughs> Berserkers are all AP one and AP two. Mm. They're all AP one and AP two. Yeah. At the same time. <laughs> yeah, at the same time. So the discussion here, if you're not sure, chat uh, viewers, is essentially that um, the captain has an ability once per game when he fights. However, he's not being selected to fight if he fights on death. So you wouldn't really have that opportunity to choose him to use an active, like a, a triggering ability um, if they're fighting on death. So the question here is whether um, he can use his plus three attacks and devastating wounds when he fights on death. It, so it says once per battle at the start of the fight phase. Oh, well then go ahead. No, we're good. So we can do that. And also I'm going to use a battle tactic for Freezy and I think I'm going to choose uh, Lance to get plus one to wound. Is I that, think I'm dead anyway. Sorry, is that when you're selected to fight? Uh, let me finish, Michael. Okay, let sorry. me finish. These people interrupting. They can't even finish your <laughs> sentence these days. Also, it costs TCP to do that. <sighs> right, can I? <laughs> please, Steve, go ahead. Go Seb, ahead. could you please mute everybody apart from me? Thank you. <laughs> So, on to the chapter. Mm. There's a battle tactic. Mm -hmm. It's a fight phase. One Adeptus starts unit from your army. Cool, I've got one. And it just says, until the end of the phase, melee weapons equipped by models in the unit have the lance ability. But then, it just says, when fight phase. Are we in the fight phase? Yeah. Cool, it doesn't say when selecting or any selection. It just yeah. says, in when fight phase. Until the end of the phase, melee weapons equipped by models in your unit have the lance ability. Yes. Target. No. Oh. Because normally the strat says like when yeah, it says target. And target. The target is one right. adeptus Astartes unit from your army. Oh, cool. So that's my fine. target is now. That's fine then. Yeah, I, I think that's fair game. Oh, yeah, 100%. I agree. Yeah, fantastic. Cool. That's I'll good. do the berserkers first. Okay. So, man with napkin threes. really does come in clutch. It's a good napkin. Okay. It's very red. Uh, strength five. So I'll be wounding you on threes, but with a plus one to wound. Twos. Twos. Mm -hmm. These are the regular dudes, yeah? These are the regular dudes, mate. So yeah. that's five, ten, eleven wounds here. AP one. AP one. Cool. Four ups. Uh, one dead, two dead, and a half dead. Two and a half dead. Cool. Then we've got the corn eviscerator. Yep. So you probably should have gone with this weapon first because it's two damage, because otherwise the first damage is going to be lost. Yeah, I was thinking in the reverse way of like doing it because I wanted to kill the character. But then that should have been with the yes. Master of Executions, Always. not the, this one. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to allow you, no, if no, you it's, want, it's all right, it's to right. do this first. I've, I've made the mistake. No, it's fine. You carry on. Okay, right. Let's we'll see if I wound first, which I do, which is AP2. Uh, so that goes through. Yeah. So you'll, I'll kill off another model and pass a wound over, okay? Because you should have done that first, definitely. There's Are you not, sure? There's not a world when you don't do that. Okay, all sure. right. If you're okay with that, absolutely. Then, thank you. So three dead. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. All right. While you sort that out, we do have a super chat from Adam Goose. Going to keep him uh, there. For Twenty though. pounds, not much, but enough for a few beers. Have a great time, Jake. Thank you, Adam. And then James Hobbs <laughs> is box playing against Scumbag Steve. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. What? What? Is this a running joke, Jake? No, oh, this like is you? just Hobbs being a word I can't use on stream. Oh, good. <laughs> but it's Fox playing against scumbag Steve. Well, that's Jord first off box. <laughs> Hobbs, not Hobbs. 
Wait, am I scumbag Steve or is that know. scumbag Steve? I don't, I don't really it's scumbag know. Steve, like. Or the, maybe he meant scuba Steve. Like, cool. Do you remember scuba like from Big Steve. Daddy? I don't know. I thought you Angron seen, was Big Daddy. You ever seen Big Daddy? Yeah. With Adam Sandler in? Yeah, it's no. got, it's a, that's a fantastic. Just get on and roll your dice, man. All right, cool, don't even cool. talk to me for the next Twos. five minutes. I get to re roll hits. Cool. Can, can and I then this guy, your wounds on twos, re can re roll wounds. <laughs> you don't have to, though. So the only other thing. I missed two anyway, so. There we go. This is five saves. AP? Uh, AP two. So these are all on first guy. He's dead. This guy. He's dead. And then these now are all going to be on my Capitano. Oh. These are flat three damage each. Yeah. To be fair, Hobbs Four actually up. just unloaded some deep lore here with Vanguard Tactics because Scumbag Steve is one of Steve's characters. Four up. <laughs> How much damage? Three. Okay, this one. Here we go. <laughs> Yes! Yes, he's alive. My boy! The captain is alive! Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Right, only issue with his, now because he's not died in the same sequence, mm -hmm. he will actually lose the uh, reroll wounds. Yep. Which is kind of annoying. Does it, not, does it not say to the end of the phase? We'll have a look. I doubt it, because that will be whilst... Because <laughs> he's not part of the unit when he gets to activate. Um, <laughs> I just googled Scumbag Steve, and Scumbag Steve is... For some reason, just come up with like, does anyone remember that meme from ages ago of that chav wearing all Burberry? <laughs> that scumbag Steve. <laughs> that scumbag Steve. You're all right. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to get the reroll wounds with the captain anymore because the unit is now dead. Correct, Steve. Sure. All right. Okay. That's scum. Yeah, I know scum. Uh, yeah, yeah. Quick know, question from the chat. Um, yeah. So, didn't Stephen charge? Why isn't he fighting first? So, I have fights first on my Master of Executions. So, because I'm the defending player, I will actually be able to activate before Steve. Or Scumbag Steve. Or <laughs> no, Scumbag Steve, Steve, as he is also known. Right. Your Scumbag Steve. That's the... Oh, that's me. Oh. Your because you've got the hat on backwards. And you're ah, wearing Burberry. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, unbox your right. Scumbag Steve. Right, yeah, sure, cool. Sure. So my Power Fist Sergeant first, because it's two damage. Yep. Um, he's hit twice. He's going to be wounding on twos, re-rolling any failed wound rolls. He's gone through. Yep. So AP2, two, two damage. Sure two dice. Oh, first. feel no pains. Feel no pain. First so one. The first one. Is he's alive. alive on one wound. Now he dies. Kills one guy. Kills a guy. One dude, dead. Cool. Then I've got some chain swords. Okay, so looking for threes here. Yep. And now we're looking for threes again. Yep. And because you're on an objective, mate. You can re-roll the wounds. I am re-rolling all them wound rolls. That many saves, please, sir. Cool, so four plus saves, because it's AP1. Yep. Okay, cool. And cool. then six up fill my pains. Yeah, and these are all cool. single damage each. So I can just roll it all at once. You certainly can. So one, two, three, berserkers die. And one's still on a... Um, no, it's no, just that's six it. Yep. yep. Three Berserkers dead. I'll keep your Eviscerator alive, yeah? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now it's time for the old El Capitano. Yep. He's got some heavy lifting to do that. Well, you saving that Power Fist was quite cheeky there, mm. wasn't it? It was. Right, so Capitano, what have you got for me? So I'm not getting reroll wounds now anymore, but I am going to be getting uh, six, <laughs> a six attacks. Yep. Uh, to be clear, uh, George, Hobbs isn't calling you a scumbag. He's felt he's had to get out of <laughs> Right, three extra attacks, because yeah. it was the once per game ability. Yeah. And then I've got the honor vainment, which I believe is one more. It's plus one, yeah. And I've also got plus one strength, is that right? That's right, yeah. If you was in the Assault Doctrine, it will be plus two. Yeah. Here on twos. Four nice. hit. And then wounding on twos as well, because yeah. it's strength six. Oh, my God. Okay. That's quite a few damage. These wounds. are devastating wounds though. So and you can reroll the wounds. I can't reroll the wounds. No. Because at the point of activation, the character didn't die. Oh. So the so he's no longer part of that unit when he actually came to activate. That's very sad. Yeah. So all of these will need to be done individually. It's damage yeah. two. AP. Uh, AP three two. Two, 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 AP two. two. So five up saves. Yeah, first one. Okay, now roll me two, feel no pains. He's now dead. Right. So all these so there your saves first. Does so the Master Execution have a four plus in Yeah, He has a four plus in bowl, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I just lied to you. So he's got five up saves. Five up saves. Okay. Did pretty good. So, yeah. It's so in total, damage. that's 10 damage on Mr. Master Executioner. 
He's dead. He's cream crackered, yeah. He is dead, dead. You're giggling This goose, ghost though. is so <laughs> cheerful. <laughs> so giggly. <laughs> just had like jaws when the models die and they go, <laughs> <laughs> And I'll just basically get uh, an inch away from the wall just to make this charge a little bit harder. Okay? Yep. Sounds good. All right, so that concludes my turn. I'm pretty oh, happy about that. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, I think that was a good little play there. What do you yeah. guys think? I think that was very good, Stephen. Yeah, it was all right. I think you did very well there. One of the worst things to deal with is the Master Executioner. Yeah. And I thought it's a big push for the... I did have to play aggressive with the Land Raider to make it happen. Yeah. Um, it was a big play. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad it kind of figured out, worked out how it went in my mind. So I'm kind yeah. of happy yeah, with that. Yeah, definitely. Because you can't leave that Master Executioner just running around. And this is probably the unit that... I'm a unit. Um, I don't mind sacrificing because it's my cheapest character unit. Yeah. I didn't want to. I didn't want to sacrifice a unit of Saw Brethren for it. Yeah. Exactly. So. Um, exactly. So. No, what, I liked to make. I was happy with that little trading. What yes. did you get on secondaries? Then? So on secondaries, uh, I didn't get capture enemy outpost, which I will be burning. Oh. So at the sure. start of my turn, I'll be up to um, it, Jordan's turn. I'll be up to two. I did get bring it down, and I did did kill Angoron. Yep. And and he's got 16 wounds. So, so that means that's going to get me two, five. three, four, five. Five the peas. <clears throat> is it plus cool. one for tactical? Or? Yeah, because it's so five two. Is and including the plus one. Okay. Yeah, two and, sorry, two, and then he's 10 wounds and he's about 15 wounds. Five, yeah, five, 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 five. Okay, so uh, we'll be moving on to you. What's your card draw? So my card draw. And this primary, turn. please, George. Uh, I get a five on the primary. Very good. And I got investigate signals and deploy teleport homer. Right, one thing you probably want to do though, you killed a unit here, right? Yeah. I believe after you fought and you've killed a unit, you can spend a CP to have a blood tithe roll. Because if you would have used that when you killed my unit, right. and you blood tithe, you could, blink, you could bring Angron back. So you In could spend turn. a CP. When I, does it last until? So I would have had to have done it straight away. Yeah, that's fine. But... If I'm spent, I could keep the CP for other uses, okay. Rather than trying to bring, because I'm going to get double chance to bring him back anyway. Now you get triple chance. I know, and you but still I, get a buff. I think. When did, what does the, the stratagem say? The stratagem yeah. is for the blood gods. Uh, fight phase just after a world eaters unit um, from your army destroys an enemy unit. Yeah. Uh, you can make a blessings of corn roll. You use that result of this roll to activate one blessing of corn. Um, and it just does not count towards your maximum number of activated blessings. So it would give you an opportunity to get anger on back mm -hmm. because then that would mean he would go into strategic reserve. So then in your reinforcement step, he would come back, right? Yeah. The other thing I'll add as well is it it's mean, up to you. It then means in the, your next, in George, start of George's turn, he then can get an actual buff rather than having to do it on. Yeah. Oh, you can use favor of corn for every single roll. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I thought it was once per game. No, no, no. It's for every oh. roll. So it's up to you. So you'd be able to get it. You'd have two chances for a CP to bring it back Angron. I'll do now it. you might roll roll it anyway. But yeah, what yeah. this means is you're getting four chances to bring him back, yeah. rather than two chances. Yeah, that makes sense. And if you yeah. get him back on the first two, then you get an actual. Well, let's see what I get. It's up to you though. If you feel like it. you've got better CPs to use, then that's totally up to you. No, but I don't really. Not at this point. <laughs> so I'm all good. Okay. So I don't know, but I re-roll it. Yep. Yeah. Because what do you need? Triple six. Ooh, but I wouldn't have had anyone at the time because the unit would have been dead. No, because you oh, would yeah. have still been alive so at the time of one of the dice. Oh, yeah. six, Big back. six. No. no. So no Angron. No. At least you nearly did it. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So now going into my turn. Mm -hmm. So sorry, we've done this out of phase, but this is now my actual turn blood to tithe. actual blood dive. No, but I'm going to re-roll it. Okay. Not a single six. Um, but I've got one double, which will be my feel no pain. Yep. And the other one, which will be the plus two move. Cool. Yep. Is there any triples, by the way? Because you may as well pick up one of those. You had you had two fives. Two threes. The two. triple is only fight on death or lethal hits. Right. Okay. So I don't really need them at the moment. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm fine with um, the plus two move and the the feel no pains. All right then. Cool. So yeah, go into my turn. I'll we'll go All from right. there. Sounds good. Mute us and have a quick word from our sponsor. But before we continue, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, The Outpost. If you're looking for a great deals on your miniatures, paints and gaming supplies, we've got you covered. Their wide variety of exceptional service makes them the go-to destination for all hobby needs. So don't wait, check out The Outpost today. Link in the description below. Righty-ho, neighbourinos. We're back. 
Yes. So Angron coming back is um, obviously would be pretty good. But uh, it didn't happen, sadly. It didn't happen. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice no one. Wrong, sadly. <laughs> right. So, um, um, yeah, which, but the thing is, is that I think we should speak quickly about the logic of why Steve was being quite adamant to do that. Yes. Um, so, Michael. Yes. Do you want to take it away? And Do you know why? Well, basically, if you kill a unit, yeah. you have a stratagem uh, and you can make a favoured of corn roll. Mm hmm. If you do roll three sixes on a fa uh, on a favor of corn roll, um, then that means Angron comes back. You don't even use the sixes up. Yeah, the father comes back. Um, and you can make a re-roll with favor of corn. I believe it's once per turn. Yeah. Um, as per the FAQ. That means you could bring Angron back earlier uh, and you can get more reliable dice rolls with your other two. And you have more chances of doing it. Yeah. Basically by doing another one in your yeah. in your turn as well. Yeah. yeah. It, it is a triple six you're looking for though. Yeah, I think the the main thing with it is that if you did get it on the uh, like well, like Stephen said, if if George were to get it at the end of Steve's go, then Angron's back. He then doesn't have to worry about wasting like the re you know like try and fish for it next time, hmm. which could mean that he gets better buffs because um yeah. uh, as as it was mentioned in the chat, why did why was it not why didn't he just pick the blessing on the first rolls because he wanted Angron back? So yeah. so if he doesn't see triple six in his head, it's not worth it. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. It's quite easy to get that plus two move and six up feeling a pain, right? Because it's just a couple of doubles. They're the two easiest, I think, right? Yeah, and, and I think it probably some of the most versatile. Yeah, um, advance and charge is nice. Is that one? one of the yeah, advance and charge is, um, I think, a triple five plus or four plus, mm. which is a bit harder to do. Um the Phil Nate pain yeah. is probably the most annoying in my head. Like I've always thought Yes, I, I think so too. Um, yeah. So, interesting. What do you think uh, Jord needs to do this turn? It's difficult, right? Because uh, Steve's got quite a lot of very tanky units and quite a bit of good shooting. I think the main thing is to... I think you'll hopefully you'll agree, Michael, because then I can prove that my knowledge is better. <laughs> um, is is very much the case of, I think, he'll try and swing the, the objective that currently Steve's hands is caressing, mm -hmm. um, like he is because he has a hand model. Yep. Um, because that that for Jord is like his sort of hold point. His mm -hmm. um, is um, I'm I can't remember the word now. Anchor point. Anchor point. His fortify. Fortify. Objective. That's it. There you go. His fortify. Go. Sorry, I've had a long day. Um, That's all good. So his fortify objective. So be, by yeah. holding that, it means he's going to get ten every turn of, in theory. Yes. And in actual fact, you don't actually need to really hold three objectives until the end. Mm. So you're only really just trying to mess with everything else. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know, but Michael, like, what do you think? Because I, you know, so you, you, you'll you'll be able to. Articulate the problem it. is that Jordan will not be able to keep up with the rate of attrition no. that this game is going to demand from him over the course of the next few and games. Steve has a lot of stuff. He needs to go in. Um, that's my professional opinion. He needs to go in. Um, so what I would do here is try and tag the Centurions mm -hmm. um, and force tactical. Uh, to be spent on them for CP, tactical doctrine, or for the doctrine to be enacted. Yeah. Um, I would try and use a unit to block the unit of the judicial unit in the building, mm -hmm. to like string around the wall to try and block them in. <coughs> and I'd see what damage I could do to some of the other units on the table yeah. with the eight bound. Um, but we need to do some charging, we need to do some killing this yeah. turn, um, because the more assets that are left in the later game, and the more problems we've got, I'd also yeah. deep strike all three units of ex exalted eight bound. Oh, on the front line. So what you're saying is... Go turn. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Bed by nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I've, I think you're right. I think with with this sort of game plan for Jord, like, there's only so much he can sit back because the Black Templars yeah. have a very balanced mix of shooting and combat. Yes. So, like, when he charges into certain units, like, that Judicia unit is terrifying now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a shame that, um, actually... Uh, What's his name? Khan isn't on his own because he could run straight through that wall into the Judicia unit. And just one shot him. Um, one shot it because he fights on death automatically. Yeah. Which gets past the fight first issue. Mm. Unfortunately, because he's leading a unit, he now has to would have to yeah. sacrifice the rest of the Berserkers yeah. before he fights on death. Um, on that note, let's have a chat about solo characters because mm. um, they're becoming quite popular. They are. Um, what do you think? Because I... 
uh, even ones that aren't loan ops. So, like, if I look at my Vatan list, actually, mm. I actually have two characters that aren't attached to units out of the three. Okay. I've got, right. And it's quite interesting when you think about it because, like, say one of them's a Grimwear, mm. who's a 65 point hero, mm. and you look at him and you go, well, why would you have him solo? Because if they draw assassinate, right? Yeah. But then when you actually start going into the nuance, it sees the cheapest unit in the book. Yes. Meaning that he can just come on. He's relatively tanky and he's mm -hmm. a space Gandalf. So yeah. he's pretty cool. And then also the same said for like a champion, this example. So what was your experience with solo characters? Have you used them that aren't loan operatives, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's um, so many different places you can find to tactically use or not attach a character. Mm -hmm. Having one extra unit is super um, useful. And as you say, they are often some of the cheapest characters in the game. Mm. Um, so if you're playing, let's say, Astra Militarum, a 30-point Commissar just standing on your home objective screening is amazing. Yeah. Or coming on from Strategic Reserves and, and doing a, a, a mission thing. Yeah. It's, it's so easy for 30 points. Um, but I think the sweet spot, really, is finding a character that does either loads more damage than his points cost or is durable enough to make it very annoying to allocate shots to yeah like the Grimnir yeah right. well yeah the Grim the Grimnir is very annoying and you know with nuances with Vatan you can give him a relic that means he gets back up which is even more annoying that is annoying um yeah <laughs> and he's got some decent output as well right so yeah shout out shout out Tom Lehman from uh my rock and stone fellas me James Marsden and uh Tom Lehman that do rock and stone every week on six plus plus okay. um that's where I got that from so we've got, um we've got an interesting maybe. move coming Oh, yeah. we've got some exalted eight bound turning up in the top left corner. Oh, they're okay. they're looking like they're eager beavers. Yeah, I not a fan of this move personally. Okay, not a fan of this move. Oh yeah, you did say you want them on the front line. I think throw everything in one place. Uh, I'm worried that the the librarian and the scouts will just run away. The what? The librarian at the top, <laughs> the guy, the the nerd with the books at the top will run away from that exalted okay. eight bound unit. Mm. Um, so. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a tough place to be. Also, those three units in Deep Strike and a squad of five infiltrators yeah. screening Deep Strike is, is problematic. Yeah. So um, there's just a note that um, John, so John, he's just joined the chat. Hello, John. Thanks for joining us. Um, he's just he's just said you can't run Black Templars unless with with a librarian. In actual fact, you can. It's if you run the detachment, the Righteous Crusade, then you can't have a librarian. But Stephen is actually using Gladius Task Force, thus meaning he can run a librarian, and he's an evil scumbag, and yes. everyone hates him. So don't worry, John. I I I invite you to join us as we boo Stephen Box from Vanguard Tactics. Because he's using librarian well, in his Black Templars army. The poll, eighty-seven percent, I think it was, said he should lose. Said he should auto lose because he's got a librarian. Yeah, um, but George's back at the table, so I assume he's won. So let's see what's happened. <coughs> I like right. how Steve laughed as well. Like no one saw Steve giggling to himself, and I said, "I'm assuming he said George won." He's like, "Oh, ho, 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 this is my stream. <laughs> I don't <laughs> lose here." <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Anyway, what what do you do, George? So. We had quite a good discussion, didn't we? Yeah, there's been quite a few like tactical decisions that I've had to make. Um, Steve's been very kind in reminding me of a few of his rules. Um, so originally, I actually had the Berserkers coming out here with Khan, um, and they were actually going to come onto this objective, but I didn't realise that the um, the Centurion Devastators that they have the reroll hits on objectives, which is why they are now coming out this way. The intention really here is to trade with some scouts with some Berserkers. Um, and clear you off a few objectives. We've got the ob so you originally put Khan out. Yes. And I said we can move him a little bit further, by the way. But okay. I said, well, you're only going to you're going to trade Khan then into five scouts. Yeah. But five berserkers would kill them because you originally had the other five berserkers without Khan over here. Yeah. So it's swapping those two overs to think about your trades because yeah, yeah. I use squad tactics. I'm down to ACP now. Yeah. Just to make sure that there is over four inches between this model and this model. Mm -hmm. So that what that stops is this unit from charging into here mm -hmm. and the eight bound and then using the pile in to pile in and fight here. Yeah. So that's what it stops if I'm over four inches away. So just getting that extra one inch, which I rolled, which just enabled for me to close my gaps a little bit and do that. Um, so yeah, that was kind of a much better use of play there. It's a difficult decision for me right now because it's actually kind of an unchargeable fortress this bit right now. I can't get the big unit which I want to hit, 
and I can't get the other unit because they've got fights first. Yeah. Um, so there's, and I don't have a way of fighting on death automatically or anything like that um, to guarantee that I can get this unit and trade well. So my question um, to you is, did you need the plus two move this turn? Because um, so I don't think you did. It helps here because it's going to help me get into that charge potentially and actually tie up a land raider. Um, but will it if I've got tactical doctrine? I think for me true. personally, I would have gone for... What would it be more worrying for me, this is, is your opponent, if you would go for fight on death and feel no pain? Yeah. That, because you know you've got a lot of your assets in deep strike, mm -hmm. um, and this unit still had its an easy move to here anyway, Yeah. so it doesn't change this outcome. This outcome is you can, we've said this is breachable, so you're getting nine inches away anyway. We're like an extra inch away. That's kind of your end of your nine inches. And it's just whether you prefer this or the extra two inches, because yeah, you might charge that, but then it's knowing the damage output of a Corn Berserker unit into a Land Raider. Mm -hmm. So it's totally up to you, but I would probably, if, especially if you're gonna play KG here, yeah. if I do get into there and I know you've got Fart and Death, yeah, yeah, yeah. now I'm like, okay, maybe I don't. And then if you are pushing this unit into here, then again, that Fart and Death is a lot scarier when it starts to get into terrain, because they'll be on a five up Phil No Paint now, yeah. because you get the plus one, which is nice. Um, and because they've dropped in that turn, they're not going to take any advantage of anything else. But if yeah. I do charge them for, with whatever unit, do you know what I mean? It's just those kind of, on stream, we can be a little bit too, oh, I'm going to do this because we're trying to entertain you as quickly as we possibly can to make mm -hmm. those decisions. But sometimes, especially in a command phase ability, like, you know, the blood dice in command, you know, doctrines, just take a minute and go, All right, if I measure everything out, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's why I'm, ha I'm more than happy. It wasn't a change the game state in any way. If you wanted to, if you want to keep your plus two move, you absolutely can as well. Yes, Jake? Um, I have an objection. You said we entertain people. We try. We don't entertain. We try, though. No. We, no, we don't try. I don't, I don't try, personally. It just people just laugh at me. And I'm like, guys, guys, I'm being serious. <laughs> we'll go with the fight on death and fours, then. I see your point. It makes sense. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go with what you're saying here. and Because I, I think... My default is the plus two move and the feel no pain. Yeah. So it's the default one that you kind of look at and go, right, I've got some doubles and I'll take these. Um, and the fight on death, normally I'd be killing something <laughs> and then doing the fight on death yeah. afterwards. I was worried you were going to rapid ingress a unit over here. Yeah. Last turn. Well, I couldn't. It was turn one. Otherwise, oh, I would have. Of course it was turn so one. So that, yeah, that's... Yeah. Of course it was. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Of course, yeah. But I couldn't. Yeah. Because <laughs> then that plus two move yeah. is really useful exactly. when you rapid ingress. Rapid ingress is kind of neutered when you go first, I feel, a lot mm. of the time, because it, you, you don't get to react as much. Yeah, you just get the, um, yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of telegraphed what you're doing when you're um, rapid ingressing and yeah. going first. Yeah. Um, but two units of three, eight bounder here. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually investigating signals on four, uh, three quarters. Yep. And I'm deployed teleport home in your deployment zone. Yeah. So I'm gonna good. get quite a lot on secondaries this turn. So what's that? A six and a five. Six and a five, yeah, for my secondaries. Well, but well, we do have quite a few pieces to shoot. Mm -hmm. So um, pieces. 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 Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna actually try it because I do have two plasma pistols in this squad, right? Yeah. They do have two standards. So, so you're gonna overcook them? I'm gonna overcook them. He's overcooking, guys. Because I could actually do put some dents into this little... You could, if you get rid of these and you've got a charge on them. Exactly. Yeah. So, hitting on threes. Yep. You're not gonna grenade? No, because oh. I've got one CP. Oh. Uh, wounding on twos. Okay. That's two, AP Eight. three. Well, two dead then. Do overcook. Do I overcook? Uh, one dies. <laughs> <laughs> This guy at the back, guys. Yeah, <laughs> sure, 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 sure. I know. Okay, so, the charger is open now to the yes, Centurion. Yes, exactly. Um, all right, then. All right. All right, lad. Let's mm -hmm. charge. All right, then. Uh, so, let's do it. Let's charge Centurion. Did you want to shoot the two other pistols? It would make oh, the yeah, charge I've got, easier. I've got three, three, other, oh, three other pistols, three others, yeah. yeah. Well, they've all missed, missed. yeah. Yeah, cool. Anyway, Amazing. charges. Good chat. Yeah. Who so, are you charging? What's the combat profile like on these guys? Yeah, they will slap you. They will slap me. Yeah, they will. They're like three attacks each, strength five, minus one, two damage or something. They will eat you, but um, <laughs> you're probably dead me. anyway. But it means it's another activation for you to have to deal with me. So I'm actually going to charge into the scouts. Cool. Cool. So I've got a nine. Mm -hmm. So I need to be a bit careful here. Needs to be <coughs> a bit careful, everybody. So what, I'm actually going to go. Yeah. 
around here. Okay. So everyone can make base, so they're going to have to. Yeah. So Did you want to leave there. a model here to pile into me or not? Absolutely not. Okay. Just I'm, go I'm going to leave the combat. For, um, yeah, you're scared of the centurions. I like. I, it, I yeah. am terrified. Of I am mate. hitting on fours though. You're not tempting me. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so we'll just go here. Oh, these guys. These into the land raider. Into the land raider. Yeah. Did you want to charge my captain as well? He's got two wounds remaining. I do. It is a smaller charge, and remember, you don't always have to. The the charge to the captain is easier. Therefore, not all models are going to be able to get base to base. You could use your pile in to, to get into the land raider after. I'll do that. Yeah. So I'll do that. Okay. That's we, an eleven. You're definitely making base to base contact, but. Nice. Luckily with that, actually, that's worked out like a dream mm -hmm. because... It's like it was meant to be, mate. Yeah. Now, I've got OC 5 and 6 at the moment, so ideally you want to get at least three models on here. Yep. Um, so I reckon if we do this, you're going to have to get base to base with as many as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. But that there is... That blocks out the, the attacks now. Yep. Now, it's, it's whether you want the objective or the guarantee kill on the captain. Guarantee kill on the captain. Okay, then. I mean, they'll still be able to consolidate anyway yeah, yeah. onto the objective a little bit closer. So yep. we'll put them all on there. So currently, you've got three dudes on the objective, so we're currently contesting it. Yep. And then as soon as you kill the captain, you'll, you should... If, if I kill the captain. Come on, Steve. Let's not be over-optimistic. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll do that one first. Right, this is a new battle round, right? Yeah. So I'm an arm contempt because I can do it for oh, free. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a battle tactic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got sure. it. So this is the um, big eviscerator. You're putting all of them into him. Um, I may as well because I'm not going to pop the land raider. You're not. No. So I'm going to put it all into him. Okay. So does the eviscerator hit on threes? It does. Yeah. So missed once. Nice. Uh, strength nine, so it'd be twos. That's three wounds, AP1 because your armor contempt, two damage piece. Who's dead? Nice. Nice. Cool. And now that you can consolidate, and that's your objective. Yep. All right, I can consolidate you around there to end closer to put some guys on cover for you. All right? Perfect, mate. Thank no you. No worries. All right. And then I don't like the other eviscerator please. going into that. those scouts there? I think, yeah, I think they're dead. Oh, you, oh yeah. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. Do you guys like Reese's Pieces? Oh, yeah. I don't. Yeah. Oh, very do. What, my opinion on chocolate? <laughs> so I'm going to keep them. Mm. And you'd think I'd quite like that building there. Oh, to block me in. <laughs> to block you in. Mm. Full blockage. Full blockage. Mm. And to you stay out. And you don't want a full blockage. Well, you've got a full blockage. You never want a full blockage. You don't, you don't want one, so ideally. It's quite unhealthy. It is unhealthy. It is unhealthy. However, that's my turn, mate. Now, we mentioned about the Rhino earlier. Did you want on the objective or did you want it tucked into here? Because obviously you decided to leave the unit back there in the end, didn't you? Yes, yeah, I did, yeah. Because I said you could have left them in there and you could just tow him here. Yeah. But did you want to keep him in? I'll keep in? him in because I want the cover. Keep, I keep want him the cover. Tucked in. All right, yeah. So at the end of my turn, I'll score 11 points. Nice. Um, so six on investigate signals and five on deploy teleport, Emma. All right, good okay, work, mate. Very nice. 11 more points. <laughs> You'll go, Steve. Very good, sir. Very good. All right, so my card draw is uh, investigate signals. <laughs> Stephen Box, did you just pop on the stream? A blue or raspberry. <laughs> and then also defend stronghold. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I don't really know if I like investigate signals in that one. Bottom. Oh, well. Do you want um, to spend CP to get Hang on a minute. Six attacks back from a land ah, raider. Yeah. Oh, he's hit like a boost. Damn. <laughs> boost. <laughs> boost. <laughs> Twos. He doesn't even need a strength team. eight. Yeah. Oh, five saves, please. Is it minus anything? Nope. Oh, failed one. one. Take a damage. Taking the damage. That call, yeah. You've just had to claim on your insurance. Yeah. Do you want to compare? Should I put on a guy on cover? No. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Subtle <laughs> hints with Steve. Do you put it on a guy in cover? Do you want it in cover? No, no, maybe, no. no. Yes, I do. Yeah, yes, I do, Steve. No, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, like sorry, sorry, Master. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So cool. that's you. Um, I'm going to keep these cards. Um, I don't think I can perform any of them, but there we go. Um, Will you get Defend Stronghold? Maybe. Am I going to do any doctrines? Do you want to have a think about it and we can yeah, come back? You can I'm tell good. us after. Yeah, all right. All right. All righty. 
Okay, so, Jake. Yes, Michael. What are we looking at here? I mean, we've blocked the unit in the building, which yeah, is quite, quite a nice play. I think Jord actually had a really good turn there. Like, I know he didn't kill a lot. Yep. Yes, Daddy. I'm uh, so, Jordan decided, I just reminded him, yeah. To <gasps> after he killed the scouts, he could have another roll to see if Angron comes back. And then he could rapid ingress him. Then he could rapid ingress him. Go on. We've got no sixes. Not a single six. Literally Come useless. on. Come on. Not a single six. Four You're ones, actually though. useless. Do you want to roll some different dice? They don't look like they're rolling good. That, that's, Quickly, that's, get that's some terrible. more branded ones. So let's see if the play on tabletop ties to it. Yeah. Let's see if play on tabletop is better than Vanguard Tactics. Okay. Well, I know uh, the answer. Well, I've got a... Uh, yes. Yeah, go on. I've got two on <laughs> objectives. All right, then. No. Nah. Sorry. What about... Does Ben have any dice? <laughs> does there any other dice in here that we <laughs> can ben, use? Has Ben got any dice? Ben Mudge? Not yet. Not is he yet. getting some? I don't know, maybe. I get some. Maybe we're going to get some Battlefit dice. <gasps> but I want Ben Mudge dice. Ben Mudge dice, yeah? Yeah. Mm, With okay. Ben on the hit. Yeah, yeah picture just a ben. picture of Ben. <laughs> all right, I'll let him know. Yeah, yeah. cool. That's all I want. Cool. Should I call him? Yeah, can you call him? Yeah. Can I speak to him though? Yeah, see if he's uh, going to answer. I want to speak to Ben. I'm coming over there. I want to speak to Ben. Okay. I really like <laughs> Ben. He's really, he's a really swell guy. Right. Um, anyway, so I'll call him. Give me a phone. I'll call him. It's ringing, guys. Imagine if he doesn't answer. Imagine if he swore. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, you... <laughs> <laughs> you, are live on, you are live on stream, do not swear. Hi, Ben. Benny. I shall not. Hello. Hi, Ben, from More Warhammer. Um, so Jake has asked me, he's here hey. with me. We're playing on stream Black Templars versus World Eaters. Uh, Jake would like to talk to you. Ben. Hi Ben, how are you? I'm very good, Jake, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Ben, when are you going to get your own dice? When am I going to get my own dice? Yeah, and are, they gonna, are you going to have your face on them? I, I don't know about that, mate. What do you think? I think you should. And can I have I some? If they're, exclusively, if they're exclusively for you, then that's something I could maybe do, but I don't think I'll use them. But I'll use them. You need to. I've seen your dice. They're terrible. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're playing, not going to take that. We were playing Zombicide the other day. You couldn't roll anything. Well, you, literally couldn't roll any, you literally couldn't roll any dice <laughs> no. every time he'd pick them up. It just, it's not... Disintegrated into dust because <laughs> well, no. he's it's such a strong it's man. That's, that's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, mm. No, I mean, if you want to use them, I would 100% get those. Yeah, I'm game. Yeah. Yeah. Right, collab. All right, then. It's not just Battlefit. It's handsome dice as well. <laughs> I mean, I'll take that. I'll hey, take that. You, you, you got your shirt in the post. All right, love you, Ben. Bye. 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 Bye, Ben. Speak soon. Bye. Okay, cool. Uh, there we so go. We sorted that out. Sorted the dice out. Yeah. I like Ben. Right. He's my favourite. Cool. Other than back to your turn, mate. Yeah, back to my turn. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, right. So, I've got O for the moment something. Now I could O for the moment this unit here to stop you moving out. So then I've got real good Overwatch. Yep. Because you've not got real much else. Angron's not coming back. Uh, this turn anyway. This unit, I could pull back just to get some shots on downrange. Mm -hmm. um, so spending a CP to put this in, that's not going to help me because I could still be able to get line of sight regardless. I shouldn't need Oath of Moment to kill this unit. They should die with all of these shots and that kind of leaves me in an okay position. I don't think I need to fall back and shoot anyway. Excuse me. Um, I did actually, I've got a burp, yeah. Um, so, I could devastate a doctor in this unit for a CP mm -hmm. and get oh, forward and maybe get some shots on. Uh, so, what I'm going to do it's is me. I'm going to oath of moment this unit here of eight bound. Okay. The exalted dudes here. The three. Yeah, the three is. The front three. Uh, I'm going to oath those. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to enact any doctrines this turn. Okay. I think I'm okay with not being any doctrines. I like it. You like it? I do like it. It's a good plan. Alright. Oh, I could... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, oh hang oh. on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, really annoyingly, I moved that rhino and I've just blocked out that space, haven't I? You have. So idiot. I can't charge it. Uh, so, I could maybe use the Assault Doctrine, get out nine inches to here, mm -hmm. and then get Hellbrecht in. 
You could his base big enough. Hellbrecht would get nine inches to there, and with the assault dock, but you've got fart and death now, you see, which is a lot mm. scarier because otherwise that's a great play. Yeah. But because you've got that, I'm probably not going to do that anymore. I'm feeling no pains. Yeah, I'm just going to play it cagey, I think, this turn. Yeah. So I'm not going to use any strats, not going to um, use any doctrine, just open moment that you over there. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. I like it. Right, you can mute me and I'll do my movements. He's got a good point, though. Right. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so Reese's Pieces, yes, 66%. I don't like Reese's Pieces. I think you've made this very clear, Jake, so far. Thank you. Um, I should have asked Ben. Oh, I miss Ben already. <laughs> Jake is literally there punching the microphone. <laughs> if, if, if you're wondering what you can hear, that's what it is. I, I miss Ben already. But he I got misses Ben. I miss Ben already. He misses Ben. But yeah, um, George, the, there's a big turn as well because a lot of George stuff's down now. Yes. What's he got? What have you got left in reserve, George? Three. Three eight bound. Are they exalted eight bound? Yep. Oh, that's right then. Yeah, three more exalted eight bound. And if they get in a rhino, I'm gonna boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Look so at Steve eyeing up what he should do. Yeah, decent turn, as you said, from Jordan. Yep. Steven's come back, Steve. We've got some corn berserker standing in that tower, that's that's cool. Viewing the slaughter of mostly their own dudes. And Anglons corpse <laughs> but, um, <laughs> they're like papa papa this makes me so angry i love it the librarian's gone to his death as he rightly should in this army boo he should die get him off the table not in my <laughs> 40k <laughs> like, i'm taking a stand <laughs> mm. i just think it's so like steve I really had a load of respect for Steve and then he put a librarian in his Black Templar army and now I've literally lost all, every bit of decency I've ever had for the man. Like, it's amazing how by taking one model it can change your opinion so heavily of that mm. person that you loved yeah. them like a brother and do anything for them and now if you saw them fall over in the street you wouldn't even offer to help pick them up. You would just laugh, wouldn't you? That's how much it hurts. Mm. Yes. Yes, well, he, you see, he was at, like, notch one for me. Yeah, and then he got a tan, now so it's fine. Now he's back to notch zero. Yeah, he got a tan, and then it's fine. Okay. I forgot all about it, to be honest, David drinks. <laughs> <laughs> we had a few whiskey sours, and I was like, can you remember that time you took a librarian and you nearly ruined my heart? Oh, don't worry about it. Um, yeah. He's, he's thinking out. He's being quite methodical. Yeah, yeah. Isn't absolutely. he? Absolutely. Not taking any chances. Not underestimating what is still to come. Angron could turn up at any moment. Which is important to note, uh, and that can completely change the. Uh, <laughs> Angron can turn up at any moment. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh it's Angron! Oh, oh no! In the ideal world, George really wants to get him back at the end it of his turn or something. Pretty good to get Angron back. Angron Ever. will turn up. I've never seen one come back. Uh, I've seen it come back twice a long time ago when they played Dark Angels, and the Lions slapped Angron straight back into um, <laughs> <laughs> non existence. Every single time, um, but I think that was back at the start of tenth. Yeah, that, I think that what the the stream we did. Uh, yeah, uh, it was a recorded game, I think. Oh, I don't yeah. know if it actually went out. To be no. fair, we might have the date might have corrupted. Um, but I've yeah, never Angron seen, took on I've the lion. Never seen him come back and, and died. Like uh, Tom, Tom, um, Tom Mitchell. I've played a few times. He's an avid world eater player. A really nice chap as well. And um, he. Um, Every time I've played him, he's never come back. And I'm like, what's mm. going on? <laughs> like, mm. He needs to come back. Yeah. Well, if I've learned something about 40k, it's never bank on a six, let alone three of them. Yeah, unless you've got weighted dice. Unless you've got weighted dice. Yeah. In which case, bank all day. Yeah, I like go to Vegas, put like a thousand dollars on red and then like just pray. Okay. And then they're all red. Uh. <laughs> 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 what if they're all red? Uh, so the Centurions have stepped back. Um, to stay out of the threat range of the eight bound, which I don't know if we're going to see. Oh dear! Steve just dropped something. Giggly Ghost just had a whale of a time in there. <laughs> what did you drop, Steve? Got a substitute Poo? coming in <laughs> after that injury. You drop who? Just a, uh, just a small brother in. Oh, <laughs> brother down, <laughs> brother down. <laughs> oh bless. Um, 
Yeah, can I have some food recommendations for Vegas, please, as well? Thank you. Um, Ryan said, so Ryan's put in, someone in local gaming store tournament brought him back three times, but he was using nine <laughs> different di- types of dice. Well, first off, you roll eight dice. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> so that's probably how he brought him back so many times. <laughs> So the first thing you did was cheat. <laughs> oh no, you were you were accidentally non adherent to the rules or whatever. <laughs> no, I think they just mean they were Well yeah, they couldn't No no, I mean like if he's over used all nine. three times they must have used nine different times. Oh I Not thought it, I role. thought it, <laughs> I just <laughs> love this idea. It's like I'll bring him back rolls like sixteen nine. <laughs> uh Stevie put his hand up, so and he looks very deep in thought and he does this a lot. Now he's brushing his teeth. <laughs> Those bamboo teeth brushes are a treat, Steve, by the way. Yeah, they're good, are they? Really good. That's good. I was just thinking how aggressive a player. I could get Hellbrook that one. I'm kind of cool chilling in this. I mean, I could kill your, I could kill your Rhino and that kind of pins that unit. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I'm going to need Hellbrook to get out and charge this unit. But then you, you're going to fart on death and might kill a sword, brethren. I think I'm okay with that trade. Yeah? Yeah, I'm probably okay with that trade. Are you sure? Yeah, in hindsight, okay. I probably should have fell back here for a second. If CV. you want to fall back, then no, 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 I've done it now. I'm more than I'm no, more no, than no, happy no. To do George. It. No, I know you are, but I'm no. I'm accepting my no. fate. No. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna get Hellbrecht out uh, with some sword brother, not the guy that I've dropped on the floor. Um, yeah, so there we go. Not the guy you dropped on the floor. No, no, no. brother, help! <laughs> I've fallen. I've fallen. We're gonna do that, okay? Yep. So I that's do. the end of my movement phase. Uh, did you want to rapid ingress anything? I think so. Well, then. I don't think I have any other choice. Choices. <laughs> so that's my CP gone. Mm-hmm. I thought you were on two that turn. No, I'm on one. What did you spend it on? Um, another dice roll for the corns. Oh, okay. Another for dice the roll corns. for the corns. <laughs> I like it. Another dice roll for the mandem. Steve, you're on two? Yes. Okay. Remember, my, right, my land raider's here. Ah, yes, yes. yes. So I put it behind that. Yep, just put it there. Yep, cool. Another f- fun moment. Okay. <laughs> Remember my land raid is there. <laughs> it's like it's hard to miss. <laughs> <laughs> you it's can't quite, park there, mate. It's quite, quite, quite stealthy. <laughs> mm. Okay then, so we're into the shooting phase. Yep. Now we're going to go with this duda, uh, yep. the land raider, into your three exalted eight bound. Nice. Uh, so first of all, we've got... Four las cannons. What are mm-hmm. they called? This guy does not have the hunter killer left anymore because shot at anger. It already shot it. No. Yes, it did. No, this one didn't. Did it? You didn't fire it. At this Angron. one's gone. No, yeah, that one didn't fire anger. That this one fired anger. Yeah. So I will use the hunter killer here. Yep. Okay, because I really want them guys dead. So four las cannon shots first of all. Rerolling because of oath. Mm-hmm. It's three hits. Twos to wound. No reels. Two saves. Two five ups, mate. Okay. Five. So first damage it is oh only two. That's okay. Good, then. Uh, these guys have got a five up filner pain. Okay, can't roll them anyway. Next one is seven damage. One dies. Okay. One dead. Hunter so killer missile oh, hits. <laughs> Wounds. Damage <laughs> is five. Oh, one more. Sorry. Cool. Oh, yeah. what a beast. One, one wound. Uh, <gasps> Ben's in the chat. Then we've got three uh, heavy bolters. Yeah. Uh, Tough and six, mate. Fives. We're rolling. Three saves at AP one. You will get cover. Two okay. damage each. So the first one is going to kill one guy, and one guy's going to take two, right? Yes. Sorry, yeah. I should have rolled that one one at a time. It doesn't matter. It wouldn't have made any difference. Yeah, go on. Ben's in the chat. Oh, what a ledge. And he said, I'm his favourite. What? <laughs> wow. Well, can't believe it. So is that the unit? He's cheating on you. One's on one wound. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm going to go with the Phobos you, bookkeeper. You're going uh, smite and the, me. And the Phobos bookkeeper, I've never even used this. So what does he even do? You better not You better not be using that model. I I'm am. Gonna, I'm going to boo. I'm I am sure using it. Over there. I've got I'm going to streak. Got a smite. <laughs> got a smite. Okay, cool. It's D6 shots. I'm going to overcharge it. Mm-hmm. 
I rolled three <laughs> shots. <laughs> Hang on threes. They all hit. Strength six. Me fours. One save. AP two, please. No, no Chris, because it was me. D3 well. damage. <laughs> two damage. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Can, um, I, can I please have a hazardous test? I think you should just automatically get one. Cares not, sir. Yes, um, what are you saying, Jake? So, uh, just before, Ben said, uh, destroy those world eaters for me. Mm. And then VT Chris.40K's come in, aka um, potentially orange and doing something else. Uh, is George using the hat method to describe his game? And I've said no because it implies it's going well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jordan just got a one hat. Is it sideways that's bad? No, that means no that's sideways is like you can't repeat it on stream. Is that, is that, that's is that bad. a struggle? That's bad. All right, a struggle. This is, you're not sure how it's going to go yet. Yeah, it's, it's a struggle right now. Yeah, it's yeah. uphill battle. Okay. And then, yeah. just just while we've got your attention, we've got a 4.99 super chat from someone called VT Kobe. Oh, what um, a legend. What a guy. Who's that? Kobe, yeah. I'm busy Kobe in him. Uh, whoa, whoa, he, whoa. Uh, he says, evening all. Question, could Steve squad tactics the Sword Brethren back into the Land Raider when George moves those eight bound? Yes. So there you go. Yeah. Just just simply yes? Yes. No explanation needed. No, I can do that. Good to see you, Can't KB. I miss you. Yeah. Pat on the head. All Pat the normal head. rules would apply. You'd need mm -hmm. to end within three. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a normal move. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, no, yeah. I know you can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. right. I'd um, scribble it. So, yeah, shoot and phase him. Yep. So, uh, this unit here of Assault, no, Devastated Tubbies, Devastated Centurions are going to shoot this unit here, okay? And okay, they, sure. they've all got line of sight to this one guy. Yep. All right? So, we're going to go with the six Laz Cannons first. Cool. Uh, and I real misses. Yeah, you yeah, re-roll. Still missed. <laughs> and then we've got twos to look for here. We get to re-roll because <laughs> twin linked. And that is five. You will get cover. On all of them? Or just... Uh, not on you yeah, will so do three. you would you would do all of them yeah five so ap2 yeah so right, so three are fine three are fine and two go through so the first damage you will get the feel no pains is six damage so you probably dead, dead. Yeah. next one is three damage oh look at that there feel we no go. pains coming in clutch so one dies yep right now i've got the rockets okay cool this is where it gets nasty, mate. Mm. It's the rockets. And you did not have five models, did you? No. So no blast. Do, 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 you do. did a good job at shooting them up before. Thank you, sir. That's right, mate. Mm, that wasn't very good on the rerolls. Mm. Two's here. Okay, cool. That many safes. AP2, so AP1. Um, four go through. D3 damage each. So the first one is one. Feel no pain. He dies. Yep. Um, the next one is one, and then another one is three. So three on the next one. He's dead. He's dead. And then the last one is three. Um, He's dead. So three dead. Jord, I have some words of encouragement from you from um, Chris.40k or soon to be VT Orange dash Chris dash slumming it. Okay. Um, <laughs> you need to get a grip. <laughs> need to get a grip. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Your hat <laughs> matrix is well off. Get a grip. Yeah. Get a grip. So. Cool. Uh, right. So. Dave shot. Yep. Got this little chap to shoot here. Yep. Um, you've got a guy uh, with a wound. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll put the storm bolter into here because why not? And then I'm Michael. Yes. I'm inside 18. Yes. But the yes. point of range is not within 18. Can I shoot the multi melter? Um, is the visible target within 18 inches? So yes. the visible target is within 18 inches. Yep. So you can shoot it. There we go. Good rules check, you see. Okay. Just some people get that wrong. So, uh, yeah, everything at that. So melter, last cannons into that, and then and heavy bolters and storm bolters into the reserve. Yeah. Or do you want to do everything? Oh, everything. I don't want to take any chances. Okay, sure. Apart from the storm bolt, it's going to go into here. Yeah, yeah. Um, do I put the... I think you're risking it by not putting the storm bolters in. Personally. You reckon? I think you're risking it. All right, then. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. You, you're the... You choose... So no, nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Please put them into this. Okay. Reserve. So four last cannons. Yep. All hit. Yep. Three saves. You will get cover. AP two, please. Five up saves. Two have gone through. The damage is four Enough. plus three is seven. Does he blow? No, you've got Phil no pains. Oh yeah, seven. He's dead. Okay, cool. Damn it, I should put all the other guns <laughs> in here. Okay. Uh, so then, that's that. Oh, Storm Bolter. Let's not forget the power move. 
most of them missed anyway. Mm. Uh, one wound, AP nothing. You, you're it. fine. Right, okay, cool. So shoot phase complete, now into charges. Um, this unit advanced to do the move block. Yep. This unit here is going to charge, so Hellbrecht, five. Go here. Just move these gentlemen forward. Cool, cool, cool. How gentle are they? They're very gentle. Mm. 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 They're brothers of the sword. So, um, do I charge in my... Yeah, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. That man over there, the bookkeeper he's of dreams, the... is going to charge the exalted eight bound. Bookkeeper of dreams. We've realised he's the accountant of the army. Yeah, so that's how he, we can he, um, justify. He's, he, he's, uh, didn't fancy it. There wasn't enough books in the corner. There was not. No. Okay, so uh, over here, Helbrecht. He has an ability, or should I say Sigismund. I roll a dice. That's Six. A that's a problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what's, what's the problem, mate? Well, it's not a problem for me. Oh, right. <laughs> but this is a problem for you. Uh, so on a roll of a six, mate, um, yeah. he does D3 plus three mortal wounds to your unit. Hey. That's what Sigismund does. He just does mortals. He's a man of pure will and focus. Okay, so, yeah. Right. yeah, I like it, I like it. Sigismund doesn't lose a one-on-one -on -one challenge, and this is just five one-on-one -on -one challenges. I do have a question. Yeah. Does this mean I get to fight on death still or not? Uh, yes, because it's in the combat phase. Okay, sure. Yeah. So, because yeah, it's at the start of the fight phase. So you will get to fight on death. But that is six mortal wounds, please. I've taken five. Okay, cool. So one dead, two dead, three dead. Yep. Cool. Um, would they, he was here, he would be able to probably not pile in, because in yep. he wouldn't be able to get base to base. So one guy can't fight, but the other four can. All right. I'm so, happy to say that they will die from this. Okay, so you can do them all together. I'll just roll it all together. So Okay, so roll me three dice, which are your normal dudes. So one is, and then yep. the eviscerator. Yes, yep. the eviscerator is, and one normal dude. So the eviscerator. Yep. Three hits. Yep. Three's to wound. <laughs> uh, two's to wound, right? Your toughness four. Yep. Yep, three go through. AP two. AP two. Uh, and the other guys are AP one. AP one, yeah. Do you mind if I armor contempt? Yeah, go for it, yeah. Cool, thanks. Uh, so... No, I mind. They've all failed anyway. Two damage apiece. Ooh, that's bad. One, one in a bit dead. Cool, cool. And then chainsword. Mm -hmm. Three hits. Strength five, so threes. Two wounds, AP one, so you normal save. Have I done that right? Three went through, two damage each. Yeah, that one kills them because they're three wounds each. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. How many now? Uh, two saves, AP nothing because you're thinking, oh. Well, I clearly can't right. roll a save, so yeah. that's another one dead. Cool. Nice. Nice. No, no curse, cowboy. He does mean fart on death, not fight. Because we don't fight here, we're lovers. Okay, there we go. There's those dudes back. Thank you very much. Just consolidate onto the objective. Cool. Uh, yeah, spent a CP. Hmm. Okay, so at the end of my turn, um, I'm going to get rid of investigate signals, yep. and I've started defend stronghold. Cool. And that'll get me a CP into your turn. I'm up to three. So you haven't got any points just yet, have you? On C second AOEs. As in yeah. like, no, so you've got five, but in terms of you didn't score any yet. No. And I've had 10 points so far on each primary, or my one well, turn of primary. Yeah, and five and, points on second AOEs. And Jordan's had five, and now another five. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So, got it. All right, so we'll go into Jordan's turn three. I have a quick word from our sponsor. Oh, do you want to do a blood type roll first? Yeah, do it first. And your secondary cards. <gasps> so close. Okay, I'm going to re-roll one of these. How? For the Berserkers. Yes, nice. Please. Oh, no, no, Well, no, you no. can re-roll them all again. Re-roll them all again. Mm -hmm. Come on. This is one of the few in... <sighs> These guys <coughs> suck. Right. I'm <laughs> going to re-roll... Just re-roll a one. Great, into a one. So, so That's all you need is a pair, though, mate. Yeah. The ones don't matter. Pairs are what you want. Cool, so... No double fours. No. So I'm going to go for... Feel no pain. Yeah. Do you have double three, so I could go sustained. Do I need the extra movement? I do need the extra movement. So I'm going to go extra movement and feel no pain system. Makes sense, yeah. Um, my secondaries hmm. are behind enemy lines and area denial. Well, that is pretty much auto done, mate. Yep. Well, you're already behind enemy lines. And he's already and you've area denied denial, the area. Mate. So What area? We'll find out after the sponsors. 
Or not. <laughs> and now for a word from our sponsor, C Studios. They are the experts in providing professional miniature painting services, ensuring your armies always look their best on the battlefield. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or just starting out, C Studios can help bring your miniatures to life. Don't miss out on their quality craftsmanship. All right, so. Um, All right, so. Yeah, not as brutal as it could have been. Uh, we didn't see everything go in. We had one land raider sort of step back onto the home objective. Uh, and the centurions just put their firepower into the corn berserkers in the middle. <laughs> now, what would have been very interesting is actually spending a command point to make that objective sticky on death. Um, and I don't know if that's something... Uh, whether we had the CP for it or not, but if we did have the CP, that would have been awesome. Um, but I don't think we did. Uh, and then on the other, on the other objective, uh, we don't have any models there. It's just the eight bound that have just deep struck uh, next to it. Uh, it looks like that um, bookkeeper might be in for um, some good times, uh, which is probably why the Black Templars have sent him over there. Uh, this is Berserkers and Khan. Looks like it's come out of the top building to take on those scouts. Um, <laughs> and we're still making decisions based on uh, decisions in the middle of the board to see what's going to happen there. It's quite an interesting one, isn't it, Michael? Yeah, I think um, th there is a, a play here to get around the fight first, uh, which is that because that unit's spread out in a line, can actually send the whole unit into one side of the unit hmm. with fight first uh, and then only a few of them will be able to attack you because what what jord can do here is send the exalted eight bound through the wall charge through the next wall and because there's a wall in between those sword brethren and the guys he's in combat with the sword brethren can't get into base to base of their allies and therefore won't be able to fight even if they can make that three inch pile in uh in, into that fight first unit so that's what i'd be looking to do is just get rid of them um, whilst there's a limited number of models attacking me. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, I'm just going to pick out a comment from the chat, and mm -hmm. it's not from the new VT Orange, Chris. <laughs> it just, I just love this as a running joke. Um, <laughs> uh, could you just... Uh, the Ginger Ninja 3 has said, any chance you can explain fight on death and engagement range slash piling slash consolidation? One berserker couldn't fight into Hellbrook and just trying to understand why. Michael, you're better at enunciating and alliterating things. Well said. Well so said. So, would you kindly uh, explain believe, to the Ginger Ninja? I believe there wasn't enough space for that Berserker to get within base contact of a friendly model that was also in base contact of the enemy. I think there were t essentially too many ranks of Berserkers. Um, oh, no, the wall was in the way. Right, the wall was in the way. So, <laughs> because you can't be in base contact with a friendly model on the other side of a wall yeah because there's a wall in the way you can't fight through that model okay so hopefully the ginger ninja free that's answered your question and thank you for being a member so yes. very good and hopefully jaw can use that very same rule against the fight first unit um in order to get rid of some of them nice um currently food recommendations is going very well oh yeah <laughs> Sh china mama 2 china mama 2 is a on restaurant spring mountain apparently. road very, very good. Okay. We'll, we'll do a food review uh, as well. I think someone uh, was talking about when we're going to get uh, some LPP amazingness on the tabletop. Uh, well, she did actually paint the... She, the ghost made like a really weird noise. Uh, <laughs> did paint the actual world eaters we're seeing on the table yeah. as George, we speak. I will say, George also painted the Angron. Which Angron, sorry? The Angron, the, the Angron there. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And um, it's it, I think he's done a stellar job. And I so, agree, actually. And so is great. the notorious LPP has also done a very good job of the army. I think the biggest shame here is that Angron has not come back. So uh, Jordan's beautifully painted model has spent a total game time of about five minutes. Not even that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> five seconds. Part of the five-second club. Good job, Angron. Mm. You're a little baller. My horrendously painted Votan have spent more time on the table <laughs> than that. Than that um, yeah. Um. Okay. Decisions being made. The hat uh, is still backwards. So. so, Michael, Chris has said, VT Orange Chris, has Mike got involved with teaching again? Jake seems to have come 
long way tonight for a guy from Salisbury. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I've been coaching Jake on the side um, and we've been trying to get his enunciation better uh, so that he can say the word enunciation. We actually practiced saying enunciation several times. It's like my word of the day. Enunciation. Enunciation. Alliteration. Alliteration. Um, you know. Also, somebody asked um, who's got the worst farts in the studio. Mm. And uh, the options in the poll were Stephen and Jake. Mm. And actually, Stephen uh, won, I was, won the poll at 58%. I was winning, though. Yes. And so I think Steve's made a good comeback there. Yes. Um, yeah, so... Steve, Stephen, after his protein s- s- fun, is very not fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, hmm. Could yeah. anyone recommend a good video, video for someone just learning tabletop? I feel like I like trying to watch these types of videos, but can't keep up since I'm not familiar with mechanics. Guys at the table, since you're ready, I'll let you answer this. Recommend a good video for someone learning uh, tabletop games. Okay, well, we've got a Learn to Play free video on YouTube. Um, you better watch that. You, uh, Learn to Play Warhammer 40,000 10th edition, uh, where I go through and basically kind of narrate what uh, Jordan and Michael do at the table using the Leviathan box or the Get Started box. Um, and then if you enjoy that, then we've actually got a course that me and Jake did. And what we do is we break down every single phase of the game and we make little mini games and missions. So it goes through it super slowly. So therefore you get practice with, okay, cool, I'm really comfortable with moving now. Next mission, we teach you then how to shoot. So you move and then shoot. So there's little mini games um, and you can buy that course on our website. It's about $46, something about that. About the same price as the box of models, but if you go through that program, it takes about a week at a steady pace, a couple of videos a night, really way, good way to stretch that out. Brilliant with doing with uh, you know a friend or a family member to help you and you just need a few little models to kind of move around the table and you're going to have such a great time doing that course. So, mm. yeah, you've got a free option and then a slightly more paid for option. I will say as well, the paid option, um, our actual course, there's a few games on there, like the, the race across the board and stuff like that. They're actually really fun. Yeah. That when I was editing the videos, I genuinely didn't realise was actually a good learning or good way to learn the game. Yeah. Um, we, so, yeah, we do have a few. Rather than trying to learn the whole game like this, it yeah. just gets a bit much. So that's I had fun. It was yeah. good fun, wasn't it? I yeah. had a lot of fun actually doing it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of fun, we do have a super chat, just quickly. Um, they are James, fun. wanting to collect Imperial Fists in the new year, what's the best starting point for semi-competitive armies? Keep it up, legends. For an Imperial Fist army or just for... For an Imperial Fist army. For an Imperial Fist army. I think the characters. The Crimson Chen! Yeah. <laughs> Start with the characters because that's what kind of gives you the identity of Imperial Fists. I think you can't go wrong with the characters... Uh, Six aggressors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty good... Uh, yeah. Five maybe terminators. Some, yeah, five terminators, six eradicators. And with that, you've got a nice little base, maybe five infiltrators. And all of a sudden, you've got quite a good little list on your hands already. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yep. Right. Add in a tank for... What would you, you recommend like. for detachment for Imperial Fists? Well, you could take Gladius. It's quite a nice, easy one to start it's with. Again, point. we've got the Space Marine Masterclass as well. Um, and we've got a subscription service to all of our Codex Masterclasses, which also includes actually our Start Playing course. So maybe subscribe to that, and then you get the Start Playing course and then the Space Marine Masterclass series, okay? Uh, where we go through absolutely everything that you might want to if you want to play Imperial Fists. Yeah, and there is an Imperial Fist actual detachment, detachment module on that. That we talk about, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Cool. Right, so going into my turn, so movement-wise. Yeah. Berserkers are moved out. We're going to try and get this charge clear this objective and hopefully start scoring some primary on this one here. Yeah. Um, we've moved out the eight bound finally. Mm-hmm. Now we're moving towards this way just to try and minimalize the amount of attacks I'm going to be getting on me because you've got fights first here, haven't you? Minimalize. Minimalize. Is that a word? Minimize. Minimize. I think you've added some L's in. I, I like Min- to add L's. Minimize is they're, they're, they're both words. They're both words. But minimalize? minimalize I think is more appropriate in this case. Oh. Sure. We'll go with, we'll go with, yeah. we'll minimize what I was saying. And we'll go with that. I'm going to lies it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to lies it. Yeah. So I've lies over here. They do say you sound like an owl, though. Don't, no, don't, because you confused the absolute jeebers out of me earlier when I wanted to say someone else, but then I stopped myself. You confused me so much. But they do say you sound like an owl. Who's, who says I sound like an owl, Steve? Who says it? They say it. Who? 
Exactly. I think the giggly gaze is going to have like an aneurysm in a second. Like, I'm going to have an aneurysm. Right, so <laughs> I've moved the these. <laughs> <laughs> They've moved over here, the eight bound have. Hopefully, try and get a, a few things over here. Who, Don't say who. Who, who. who. The eight bound, the exalted eight bound have moved up. You actually squad tactics, didn't you, Steve? I did, yeah, because yeah. I didn't want you charging Hellbrick. Yeah, coward. Um, these guys haven't really moved too much. Um, I need behind enemy lines. I'm trying to rack up as much as I can on secondaries whilst I've got units on the board. Yeah, and I just reminded you of my Overwatch because you've still oafed for that one guy with the wounds. So exactly. Just kept outside of 24, like 24 by one inches away so he yeah. can't Overwatch you. Exactly. Because otherwise I would have to stop you scoring your behind enemy lines with the second unit. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> I, I'm not an owl, Steve. Right, I'm going to go and punch you now. Um, Roy Hodgson's an owl. He is a bit of an owl. <laughs> he looks like one. Um, <laughs> shooting? I don't have anything to shoot now. No. So, charges. Charges. So, do the important one, which is this onto here. Go on then, make it. Oh, that, I saw the six. That's probably not going to make it. No, because I'm outside of five. Why are you rolling those dice anyway? You should be rolling the play on dice. I should be. Yeah, because so I'll have to CP it. They're your blood tithe dice. There we go. There we go. There we go. We use so, the play on dice. They roll better than those Vanguard Tactics ones. That's not a very good sales pitch, Steve. But it's honest. It's true. Yeah, it's honest. That's what you get from us. Honesty. Honesty. Don't Honesty and bad buy dice. Our ties. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Over here. Right, you're going to charge my librarian. <coughs> right. The bookkeeper. The, the accountant. Yeah. So we'll do the three first. The important ones. I think they made it. Do you think? Yeah, but make sure you don't block off your charge with the other dude. I won't. Because there's going to be four. <laughs> now we've got the other one. He's not making that. Um, cool. Those three there. Into the land raider? Into the land raider. Behind enemy line. Or into the fight first unit. Not into the fight's first unit. Fair enough. Into the land raider. I think they're in. And then these exalted eight bound going into the fight's first unit. Okay. Come on, boys. Oh, you rolled a six. And another six. That's right, not one what more I and Angron's back. <laughs> Can I roll a triple six? No. No, there's a one. Um, so, <laughs> 12. <laughs> no. So that's actually not what you wanted. It's not. Because every model that has to base has to. Because what we were trying to do was roll a little roll, <laughs> so then only a couple could get in base to base. The one time I didn't want a six, I rolled a six. You wanted a double one. I did. That was ideal. But now, 12 inches actually brings you here. Yeah. Or you could use the full 12 to go the complete other way and base all the models on the other side of the unit. And just do the same thing, but on the other side of the unit. If you'd have declared the land raider, they may have made you charge long, which you wouldn't have done, would you? No. So if you go with this guy, the like problem is, Mike. Saying. Problem is, Michael. I don't think there's any way, shape or form, with a twelve that you can block yourself out. What about going this side? Well, you can. Uh, so let's so say let's we say use this guy here first. Yep. So if we put him as base to base at the very back here. Yeah. So or, where's twelve inches? Twelve from there. Okay. Yeah. You pretty. Right, so he's going here, right? Yep. Cool. This guy. Yeah. We want him there. You actually might be, it might be a big enough footprint for it, you know. Go on. This guy. Go on. Go on. So there. And then this guy. Yep. We want him in there. We do want him in there, yeah. This guy. Um, it, there's a guy in here in the wall, so you have to tuck him into there. Yep. Now this is where we've got a problem, isn't it? So he's going to have to go connect to there. Uh, yes, he's going to have to go to here. Let, me, let the team down that guy, Az. Uh, actually, because you might be technically breaking coherency there. So you're going to have to go there. You can still fight through the wall. Could I go on top of the building? On top of the floor? Um, if I can't end bench space here, could I not go there still? You can, yeah. So I could do that and fight above? Yeah. And then that means... I'm now stopping a few at the back there, aren't uh, I? This guy could be able to fight, but yeah, you're definitely stopping this guy. But yeah, going yeah. up to there definitely helps you that out there. Cool. Yeah, cool. cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. Nice. You're cool with that. I'm cool with that. The I'm chat cool will be cool with it. with it. Jake's not cool with it, but he's never cool, so. You do get to fight before me here. I do, I do, yeah. So I'll let you do your. Attacks. Right, well, I want to boost up the old damage. Yeah. Uh, so he'll just pile into there, and then he'll just waddle on forward. Yep. Uh, okay, so I've got four guys attacking. Yeah. Go with the Thunder Hammer, boost up the damage. That's two hits. 
That's two wounds, sir. Two. 82, <laughs> the five up invents. Saved them both. Oh, what a hero. <laughs> We've then got a Mastercrafter Power Sword is over here, so that must mean I've got two regular guys in there, which are two damage each, sir, okay? I like it. <laughs> Why, Jake, are you laughing? Because, um, so, <coughs> we've had Daniel has asked, Stephen is a bear, what animals are the VT team? And VT Orange Chris said, if you're bigger than Steve, what animal does that make you? And then VT Chris Slumming It has said, asking for a friend. Hippo. You called me a hippo? No, hippos are bigger than bears. But you looked me in the eyes as I said, hippo. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it because I'm talking to you. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not calling you a hippo. <laughs> you know, you just went hippo. <laughs> Surely elephant's bigger than a hippo. Yeah, but then there still needs to be something bigger than Chris. If Chris is bigger than me... Mm. Like, in a perspective, if Steve's a bear... And then you got a hippo. What type and of bear? And then you got, got Chris, Ash. And then you got Ash. <laughs> like, and then Ash is the elephant. Ash yeah, but what is... type of bear, though? What? Well, grizzly. Okay, right. Ash is um, Moto Moto from Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> I like him big. <laughs> it's just a buff right. hippo. Right, you got two saves. <laughs> two saves. Yeah, five ups. This will be two damage a piece, so this might kill one. You got the feel no pains. One Kill, dead. Killed one. Killed laid down with the two. Right now we got the five attacks from the uh, lightning claws, and he hasn't hit you very well. So it's just the one hit. Uh, wounds, twin linked, yes. <laughs> Two damage. That's them done. Cool, so one's on a wound. Cool. Ooh, 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 right, ooh. so I will go... It doesn't really matter, does it? Nah. Right, we'll start over there. So we've got Exalted 8 pound. Mm. Cool. <laughs> Paired chain fist, it. we'll do them first. What is the AP? AP3. <sighs> All of this AP3. Yeah, because they've all got chain fists. Oh, I could armor contempt here and keep my land raider alive. What's your damage? Uh, two. Oh, each. Right. Okay, how many attacks each? Uh, six for this guy, and it's twin linked. And then the other ones have got four each, so eight attacks. Even if they all went through, die. Uh, I'll armor contempt, I think, because I only need two CPs going into my next turn. Armor contempt, yeah. Cool. So hitting on. Threes. Nice. Mm -hmm. Strength 40, Strength 15. Okay. So threes. Yep. We're rolling because it's twin linked. <laughs> cool. Three wounds. Yep. AP two. Now because you're armor contempt. One goes through. Two damage. Cool. And then <laughs> eight attacks. <laughs> Hitting on threes. Uh, that's number four saves. AP? Uh, AP two now. All saved. Nice. Shrugs it like a boost. These eight bounds. The normal ones. Yeah. Do you want to just pass over this? Oh, we'll let you roll out Khan actually because he's quite fun. Should we do Khan now? Yeah, good. Just do Khan. Where's my Khan card? There he is. Do Did you want to do any pile ins or consolidates first? Yes. Just to get your movement on point. So this guy is going to go there. That is one thing. If you ever do say to someone, look, I'm happy to pick them up, don't be too hasty because they might want to do a pile in move that might considerably change the outcome of where they might end up, and you might end up trying to be nice, but end up cheating them out of actually some extra moves. Yeah. Right. Nine attacks for Khan. Come on, Khan. Twos. You can do it. Reroll ones. Mmm. Um, he strength seven, so threes. Rerolling ones. Cool. Uh, these are all AP two. What's the Berserker's normal rule they have? Uh, they get a blood surge. Of course they do. So AP two flat three damage. <laughs> so uh, he's killed four. Of course, Gout's dead. Right. Could you just you can just pick him up. Pass over me. So yeah. apparently, Mike's a flamingo and I'm an emperor penguin. <laughs> pretty accurate, actually. It's yeah, because I waddle and I look smart. <laughs> I am emperor penguin. <laughs> he does walk around like a penguin, actually. Yeah. Fluffing your feathers up. Like, yeah, I went, look at me, I'm the emperor penguin. I went to the zoo once and they just started following me around. I'm not your father. <laughs> I fell over on my belly. <laughs> they started like, doing it with me. Like, right, oh, this is the normal eight bounds. I'm going to do the uh, lacerators first. So these are four attacks hitting on threes. Well, five with the rerolls. Mm -hmm. With the charge ray. Uh, strength 10, AP2. Two. Two. So twos. Reroll ones because they are eight bounds. That's four go through, AP2 damage three. Five ups. Two dead. Cool. 
<laughs> and then we've got... What's Jordan then? What animal is Jordan? Four guys. Uh, an owl. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do say he sounds like one. Oh my God. Who says that? They do. Right, this is all the normal eight bound now. Right. So I'm hitting you on threes here. Yeah. Have you removed the model that you had to? Yes. Out of here? Yeah. Yeah. He's dead over it. You're no, right. Yeah, yeah. Him. The guy was on the top, wasn't he? Yeah. Yes, so, yeah. yeah. All so, right then. Nice, nice, nice. I think this unit's dead, isn't it? Well, we'll see. I do uh, get a we'll four see. pin, but in combat. So these are strength six. All right. So threes. Yep. Um, you are not below half strength. I'm not. Right, so I just re-roll ones. Yep. Taking out the twos. The one there, yep. There we go, all of them. These are AP2, damage two. Right, how many guys have we got left? Uh, three. F four. Four, I'll say everyone. Yeah, four normal people. guys, and these are two damage each. Yep. So this is one guy, two damage each. Yeah, so two at a time. Yeah. Nice, good roll, he, he good cares, start. He cares not. He don't cares now. One yep. dead. Two dead. Three dead. Yep. Right, cool. And now all of these four plus saves. On the Judy. On the Judy. He's dead. Yep. They're all dead. George's a toad, apparently. I'm a toad. The bewitched toad, as in the one from Mario, or the... <laughs> 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 There are some people that do love toads. Apparently, is it? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, apparently so. Yeah, sure, sure. I like owls. I don't know why George's an owl, though. Because um, they say he sounds like one. But who says that? I'm going to tag it. So I'm actually going to tag this. You're still not getting it? No, well, I get it, Steve. I just quite enjoy saying oh, it. Oh, you're keeping it going. Yeah. I see you're doing that. Like Roy yeah. Hodgson. You're, you're doing a George. He looks like Roy Hodgson. Okay. Right. Oh no, oh, I'd have to go towards that anyway, wouldn't I? You don't have to. You could have left your model on the objective if you wanted to. Would I have one? I didn't have one on the objective. They were inside. Oh, of course, yeah. But oh, of course, yeah. And it's wholly within six for every denial, isn't it? Mm. So I wouldn't have been able to get it anyway unless I stayed there. Yes. Without doing the charge. So you rolled so. a massive charge. Yeah. yeah. Um, here? Yeah. Do you want to just pass over my accountant? Accountant? Do you, yes! want, do you want to reveal what he is? Yes! <laughs> Yeah, I wish we still had the confetti cannon because I'd have just set it off. <laughs> okay, so that's my turn. Well, well, you get to hit back for your land raiders. Yeah, the land raiders do business over yeah. here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Threes, three saves on these eight bound exalted over here. Steve would be a bobblehead. You're also, okay. Over there. Yep. And you've got a guy with a wound left. It hits on fours. Two saves, please, sir. Oh, I could kill an eight bound with a land raider. No, I don't have you. Oh, that was so cool. So satisfying. Boom. Yes. Yes. Run him over. <laughs> Run him over. No. Yeah. <laughs> that was a tank boop. It was a tank boop. Okay, then. Did you want to spend any CPs after you killed a I unit? I have no CP left. Otherwise, I would. That is I had to re-roll the charge hit to... That's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You yeah, didn't have to. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Otherwise, I'd, I'm not, I need to deny primary. Okay. So, um, I score Defend Stronghold. Yep. Oh, I will get rid of Area Denial for a CP. Okay. <coughs> and did you not want to keep that until the end of my turn? Unless no. you want a CP now. I can't guarantee that they're going to survive, so. <laughs> my turn, I score two cards. I get Engage in all fronts. Yep. And no prisoners. Mm. Kill stuff, be places. Yeah. Okay, just to quickly double check, George, what did you score in your last turn? Uh, I got five points on behind enemy lines, I believe. Okay. Yep, because I've got two units holy with him. What? I, don't, I can't see what it says. Oh. Um, and then you get five or ten primary, Steve? Five. 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 Oh, hang on a minute, I still got this one. Yeah, because I didn't manage to do any enough damage. Okay. Yeah. I get 10, because so I've got the... Uh, no and you got um, Defend the Strongholds. Yeah, I got, the, I got 10, because the Land Raiders out OCs the 8-bound here. And Jord, what um, second days did you get again, sorry? Um, I got Behind Enemy Lines for 5. Yeah. And a uh, Discarded Area Denial. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and CP, what are we looking at? 
I'm on two, and Steve's on two now. Yep. Okay. I am going to go into the tactical doctrine. Yep. Um, so I can fall back and shoot and charge. Just so you know, the eight bounds, the exalted eight bound, have a rule where you have to, um, each time an enemy unit within six is uh, selected fall back, they must take a leadership chest. If they're failed, they have to remain stationary. Ooh. Oh my. Mm. Well, I'm going to go for it anyway. Okay, sure. Um, I gain a CP, go up to two. Yep. And I don't really have great cards here. I don't think I can get engaged in all fronts at all. No. I'm really struggling for cards. I might be able to do it, but we'll see. Okay, so Oath of Moment, I think it's going to have to be this unit of 8-bound here. Yep. Or oh, which is tougher, 4 normal 8-bound or 3 exalted? They've got Fill in a Pain as well. They do have the Fill in a Pain, so I actually think the 3 exalted are tougher. Mm. You may not be able to fall back from them if you fail. Exactly. Mm. So I'm going to... <coughs> yeah, because if I can't fall back here, that's massive. What are you got? Feel no pain in plus. They don't move? have the rule for the leadership. Chest. Right, so that can one hundred percent. Okay, yeah, this, it's unit, this then, unit that can. Yeah, hundred percent. Then over moment. moment. Can. Yeah, they I'm can't. Over yeah. moment here. Uh, you've got on plus two move and feel no pain. pain. Not fight and death. Not fight and death currently. Excellent. No. Cool. 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 So I will over moment this unit here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Yep. Okay. Let's do this. Mute me and you can go to top down and stuff. All right. So Chris said that George is more like a panda. <laughs> um, but he also yeah, he's then got said, black eyes from Steve punching him. <laughs> so. uh, Chris did also say because he needs an intervention to ensure his species continues. Um, <laughs> and not because he likes... Savage. Yeah, just to confirm, it's not just because he likes bamboo. <laughs> 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 and he occasionally just sits on the floor. <laughs> um, that's amazing. Um, and Steve's a peacock, apparently. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so... Um, it was George had a white right turn there. He finally killed the sinner of the army, so we're very happy. So he's won the game, right? Yeah, basically. I don't get why yeah, Steve's well, still actually, playing. the problem is now Steve doesn't auto lose because he doesn't have the, the librarian anymore. Yeah. Oh. Well, George, if you just kept the librarian, I'm like, yeah, come on, man. Uh, did we pass that leadership check then? I did. Oh, that's a shame. So the leadership has been passed on that land raider. Not. And not, it can fall back. Not gonna lie. Yep. Not the most shocked thing in the world <laughs> that it's past the leadership check, considering the yeah, Space Marines have a pretty all right leadership. Well, right? you say that. I failed 8 out of 11 in my last game in the same turn in really? Space Marines. Yeah, it was bad. Um, yeah, so we've got tactical doctrine in effect, so we can basically do whatever we want with the army. So we can fall back and shoot, fall back and charge. We've still got um, a unit that is disembarking from that land raider. And then I believe that's all of the infantry units now on the table. There's yeah. nothing left embarked. They've been taking lumps out of each other, haven't they? It, they have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they have. Um, but this turn, I think, might be one of the more decisive ones. Yeah. And uh, you never know, Angron. It would be a good time for Angron to come back. Yeah, yeah. if he could just make his cameo appearance, that would be brilliant. His cameo. He's already done his cameo. Yeah. <laughs> he needs another... Uh, Josiah Burkhardsmeyer uh, has been a member for two months. Thank you so much. 40 minutes behind, so a bit late for this, but best meal I've ever had was at Hell's Kitchen in Vegas. Also the most expensive meal I've ever Steve, had. Steve and a lot of people went to Hell's Kitchen last year. Or this yes. year. I keep thinking it was... I don't know. This, these two weeks don't really count before the new year. Mm. Um, yeah. I don't think we'll be getting there, but... We went to Gordon Ramsay Burger, didn't we, Michael? We did. That, that was, was really, nice. really nice. I still have the menu really from nice. that. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very nice. Very I really nice. enjoyed that. Well, I'm sure we can hear Steve's thoughts on uh, Hell's Kitchen in a minute when he's mm -hmm. finished. The um, souffle was uh, marvellous. Mm. Now, the score's pretty close. The score's pretty close, and I think there's uh, a couple of aspects here. One of them is probably the secondary cards. Yeah, Steve's not had the best ones, and 
George getting 11 on that turn two was really big as well. Yeah, but it was opened up by having those units in deep strike. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely um, played, like, he's played well with it. Like, he's he sort, you know, he, he's sort of assessed the threat and gone, you know, I could just run at him or I could do that. But Steve's Steve's done his little thumbs up where he is, it's like the equivalent of me seeing someone I think I know in the street and then not realising it's not them and just put my hand down quickly. Um, so, Stevie, mm. first things first. Yes. How was Hell's Kitchen when we when you went? Pretty good actually. Yeah, um, it was very good. That's really good. Supporting a fellow British brother. Um, uh, well, he's Scottish technically. Um, and ha- what you, what have you done? For your okay, turn? so I've moved out the Empress Champion and the Sword Brethren unit outside of here. This then fell back just an inch, so I'm not engagement range. Um, and then this unit just shuffled. This unit fell back. I did roll an eight on my leadership check. This unit's moved out to try and get me engaged in all fronts. Mm -hmm. So I need to make that charge, need to make this charge, and I might be able to get engaged in all fronts. Yep. Okay. So there we go. Uh, And we're just into the shooting phase now. We are going to shoot here first of all. Mm Because he's got um, a... a Combi weapon. Combi weapon. (laughs) And it's two shots. He re-rolls misses because this is the oath target. Yep. Four pluses. Uh, that's one. Eight. Oh, it's dead wounds. Five up, feeling a pain. Yeah, two damage. Oh, two damage. Yeah. There's a master craft. It can't be worth it. One goes through. Cool. Yep. Two so left. Well, yeah, one's down to two. Cool, cool, cool. Right, and then we're into the shooting phase. Then I'm not bother shooting anything else. This unit here, you see, this is. Mm, you see. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to make it easy. This one here is going to put everything into that first. So you've got two wounds left on this guy. Yep. So I'm going to go with a heavy bolt first. Three hits. Yep. Five to wound. Five to wound. Rerolling because of oath. One save, please. AP one. All of it. You'll love it. Yep. Uh, the multi melter. No, I'll do the last cannons first. Reroll misses. Yep. Four hits from the last cannons. Uh, three wounds, please. Three wounds. Five uh, up five in up. buns. Two go through. So the first one is. Two damage, that's a bad roll. Just enough though. Next one is three damage. It's got a wound left. Uh, And then we've got the multi-melters. Two hits, two wounds. Both go through. Um, Within nine, so first one is three damage. Second one is gonna be four damage. So the first one is three damage. Guy with a wound left is dead. dead. And then four damage on the next guy. He's dead. Just dead, cool. Right, so that's the land raider done. Cool. Now these guys here, everything into the eight bound. Yep. Last cannons first of all, because they're all fresh, aren't they? Yeah. Um, well, I've lost one guy in that unit. Two guys now. I meant like no wounds. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. So I got six shots, four hits, uh, twin linked, three in, uh, four in buns, please, sir. Uh, three go through. First one is six damage. Uh, I won't bother rolling that one. Second one is three damage. Uh, kills a guy. Yeah, and then the third one is six damage. So three die. Three dead. Then we got the rockets. <laughs> do, 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 Started whistling, gave up. <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched the new Indiana Jones? What do you think? It was alright. Better, better than that crystal... I thought it was awful, personally. But... I mean, it was much better than the one before. Yeah. AP2 will get cover. The original three are the best. Um, so, uh, three go through? Yeah. One, one, three. So, Four. five. No, I'll five damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, if that was exalted eight bound, mate, you'd have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and if my grandmother had wheels, she'd be a bike. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> this just, guy. Just quickly, we do have a super chat from a Carnal Lotus. Um, $5, handsome Jake. Check out Oyster Bar. And we've got an address as well, which Jake has um, taken a photo of. Thank you. Um, thank you very much for that. And um, we will go to the Oyster Bar. We will. Yeah. So the oyster, I actually like the oysters. So thanks to the, uh, the Rhino introduced me to them. Um, Land Raider, <laughs> everything into your one wound guy. Mm. Four Laz Cannon shots. Everything into the one wound guy. Everything. Oh, he's been cracked. Two saves. Two in buns. Five go through. Four damage. No. Ten damage. Okay, cool. So Charges. 
Uh, these dudes here, yep. the Saw Brethren and Hellbrecht into the Rhino. That's in. Just, yeah. literally just, yeah. just in. Timberlake. Um, what? Then over here, Empress Champion. Like, you're going to need to make. The Giggly Ghost is going to have a fit. Seven. Right? Yeah, easy, mate. Seven. He wants to go over here like that. I do love Aren't that Empress Champion. Huh? Don't you? Don't they come in squads of five? You're right. So you you guy, That's because I broke the dude, didn't I remember? Yeah. Uh, no, he was pinned, brother. It's the Thunder Hammer I've missed. <coughs> uh, so, um, Ian has asked, Steve, where are we going for the dinner after the LVO workshop? Did you want to say anything about the LVO workshop? Yes, yeah, so I'll be sending out an email uh, probably on <coughs> Friday, actually. Uh, so if you are coming to the LVO workshop, we've got two tickets, a regular ticket and a VIP ticket. If you're getting the VIP ticket, you get a one-to-one -one call with either myself, Michael, or one of the other VT coaches between now and this submission, just to make sure you're real clear on all that. Michael will be emailing everybody on Friday to book in their call um, and to fill out a spreadsheet so we know like, you know, what army you play and the rest of it so we can allocate the best coach. Um, then if you, we're gonna basically book a VT dinner uh, for all the people on the VIP pass. So after the workshop, we'll head on to the uh, Las Vegas Strip, and then we'll probably go to the same place we ate last year because it's really accommodating place. place. Yeah, just like li real low goods of like barbecue beef and smoked ribs and all the rest it of it. Was, it was amazing. Pretty good, yeah. It's the best thing I had. And I think they do accommodate for other uh, sort of they, dietary requirements. They, they were really good about different things. So. <coughs> I yeah. really liked it. Me too. I thought it was great. Yeah. And it comes on like a silver tray. That's oh, very good. Yeah. Well, you're VIP, right? Mm. You've you got to get the silver tray. Of course. Well, no, yeah. it more looked like a lunch tray, but that just made it better. Oh, <laughs> so it was plastic. George, I'll explain how these things work okay, sure, maybe sure. when you're older. All right, yeah. thank you. <laughs> okay, so how many CPs have you got? I've got two. Cool, so I'll go, uh, not well, first of all, at the start of the fight phase, I still you've need to help. Sorry, I've got you down as one. I've got two. I haven't spent any yet. Hellbreak's got to do his thing first, but at the start he of the fight phase, good. that's a one, nothing happens to the okay. Rhino. Over here, the Emperor's Champion. Yep. Um, I'm going to spend a CP yep. to get plus one to wound on the charge, okay? I'm going to spend two CP to minus one damage. Ooh, well, I've got Sword Brother, and they can plus one damage. Oh, I counter that. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So cool, you're back cool. to one damage. What? Because if he's plus one and you're minus one, you're still one damage. Well, no, I go up to four damage. Oh, this is the Emperor's Champion. Oh. Mm. Are you excessive? You ready? Yeah, Emperor Champion time. And he's on, he's damaged three now, right? Because I've minus one. Mm. Oh, thank God. Still kills me, but... Hits five times. Yep. Wounds on twos. He's wounded. Damn. Five times. I'll roll them dice. Cool. Well, they've all gone through. <laughs> um, so three damage apiece. First one is dead. <laughs> Next one um, is dead. So Next nine one. damage on the last guy. And he's alive. Come on, mate. What oh, a legend. Oh, 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 hang on. Lads, hang lads, on. lads, 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 lads. Oh, he's dead. Just two die. Who's dead? Emperor's champion's like, exalted what? <laughs> <laughs> Minus what? <laughs> never back down, never what? Are oh, they all dead? Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, they're all dead. <laughs> well, I never knew that. <laughs> right. Cool. Over here. Hellbreak. Six attacks. Hellbred. He'll uh, boost up the damage. Damn, minus two. Oh, damn. Well, what's better? Plus one damage or plus one attack at flat three damage? Plus one attack, I think, is better. <laughs> now, I'll go with plus one damage because it makes the other dudes better too. So, uh... Sorry, Chris said... Um... Toughness? <laughs> Uh, toughness, 10. I don't know. Chris said uh, the desert is very famously well known for its, for, uh, its fresh oysters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I <can say. laughs> toughness, 9 on a rhino. Toughness, 9. So, oh, it was oh, 10 in that wins, case, sorry. it's 4s, because I believe I get plus 1 strength with Hellbrecht. Do, 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 do. So he's strength... Uh, strength, 8, and then... Um, Abilities, yeah, plus one strength. So yeah, two saves, AP three, flat four damage. He's dead. Flat oh no, four. he hasn't lost two, has he? No, he's fine. Yep. Oh, I do have thunder pains. Yep. So roll um, eight. eight. Sorry, I just take eight. You take I eight. I just can't roll sixes. You can't. It's, um, it's then play on dice. Won't buy them. Mm. Right. So uh, to quote a famous man, your just roll sixes, bro. One hit. 
That's a death wing. Devastating wing for three. Shabam. Oh, okay, he's dead. Does he blow? He does. He does. <laughs> go on then, roll some dice. Uh, it's only D3, mate, because I've got D3? a guy with two wounds, yeah. Oh, 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 oh that was the tree. <laughs> so this guy's dead. I ran you over, actually. I didn't blow up. Cool. You did well, Rhino. Just, uh, Chris well, Anderson's like, thanks, make. bro. <laughs> cool. Uh, <coughs> that is me then, mate. So I get engaged on all front and no prisoners. Good yep. job. How many points are you getting for both of those? Five uh, on each. Three. Three and five. So eight. Good job, Stevie. Thank you. George. Yeah. So primary wise. I get ten this turn. Did you get ten last turn as well? No, I only got five last turn. See, that's where I went a bit wrong. Um, well, what cards have you drew, sir? Extend battle lines. Okay. That's not bad. And assassinate. Okay. Right, real question. Does Big Papa come back? Oh, yeah. That's come what on. I need. No. Oh. So, is there any sixes? Come on. No, it wasn't even a single so, six. Yeah, you want to save your actual reroll for this. <sighs> Which rolls some better dice, for goodness sake? I've literally not rolled a hey, single Hey, hey, don't worry. Dice. We've got Hans, t handsome dice coming Let's try in soon me and Ben. Come on, re-roll a dice. Oh. You're useless. <laughs> we here, this is a big flaw with World Eaters, I'm finding. No, it's a well, big flaw with you. So, I have been saying for quite some time, I don't personally rate Angron. No, I know. I've, I've used him. I can see. No, <laughs> not in this game. He, he does a bit of damage, but he's just... It just feels a bit lackluster You're to, right. to build your whole he, army around. He did cleanse an objective this game. He did. That was quite, it was quite mighty. <laughs> quite mighty. Uh... <laughs> he did just get <laughs> cleansed and yeah. then <laughs> died. Yeah. Story of Angron. Anyway, um, what do I go <clears> for? Um, just pick two. Feel no pains. Yeah. Plus two move. Well, think about it. The whole thing you've Is the feel no pain actually going to matter at this stage? You've got six models left. Seven. <laughs> All right, Steve. Um, no. But think about it. Like, think about the... Uh, being a good sport. <laughs> like, is it actually going to make a difference? Think about that. What is going to make a difference at this point? Well, so what does Extend Battle Lines say? Hold your home and... If you control one or more objective markers in your own deployment zone, yours control one or more objective markers no man's land. Which you do. Which you do. So if yep. you stay still, you, you get, get five it. five points. Right, so feeling a pain is good for when you shoot me. Yeah, but you don't need to hold score at the it end past of this your turn. turn. Yeah. So you could potentially charge out one CP, epic challenge him, and keep some models on the objective and then consolidate back to it to maybe get assassinate and... But won't the whole unit just murder him? Murder your, his unit back? So I think there was an opportunity actually to, to spend the um, sticky on death on that bottom right hand side objective with those exotic eight pounds. No, because at the time, Michael, yeah, uh, I had Hellbreak's unit still on the objective. Is it only if you control it when you die? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, because the moment that because if he stickies it and then Steve's still on it, it he'll, only he'll have it at the start or end of any turn. So right. You can sticky and well, I'll check the strat anyway, yeah. but carry on. Yeah, could do. Yeah, objective marker you controlled. You can use this stratagem. I didn't control the objective. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Uh, yeah. So, because I was thinking, the reason why I was being facetious is basically, if you needed to control this one and this one, which, which I think is like another card. That's the key name, Man's Land. Right. Therefore, maybe advance in charge would have been better, plus, plus two move. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's where it can get interesting with the choice that you make. But extend battle lines, you're... You've already got if you stay still. I didn't, I couldn't, I can't do advance and charge this turn. Well, I didn't get a double six. If, isn't it a triple as well? It's so a double six or triple four, and I didn't get a triple. I got four doubles. Oh, right, okay. I got double five, double four. Okay. So I can basically fight on death. Mm -hmm. Which is not really worth it. Um, it might be because it then. I'll go fight on death and I'll go feel no pains for this one. Okay. Just to try and. If yeah. I can keep these guys alive for another turn. Yeah. It's worth it. The only issue I have with coming out here and getting here, if I don't kill him, yep. I'm stuck out and I potentially lose the unit because Khan's going to be the one that wants to get over here to fight. Yep. You will take the hits on my guys. I would have to take the guys off the objective first. True. Because of, obviously, so it's not really worth me going over well, here to I get think, this kill. I think Khan picks up this whole unit. 
personally. But is, is he flat three? He's flat three damage. But you do have two CP to fight on death. Yeah, and I suppose I could as well move away for squad and, tactics. And this is the thing. And it's a flat six. So yeah, there, there's no real reason for me to go over here to try and get this kill because mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm either going to die myself and lose the asset that I've got. Yeah. So just hide them basically I inside think the wall. Yeah. The best thing to do is actually come off it that way, isn't it? Yeah. Only the land road will be able to shoot you then. Yeah. So I could do that. Yeah. Because I haven't used the assault doctor in yet. No. Okay, cool. So you've got fart and death and fill and pain. Yeah. All right, like it. So I'm sorry it's going to be a boring turn, guys. Fair but enough. I'm going to get extend battle lines for five and I'll ditch assassinate for a CP. Nothing boring about getting homes, you know. Is um, it worth keeping in case I charge in and you fart and death and kill my character? That's a good point. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I won't do that. In case you want to plan for two CPs, but you can't interrupt, right, if I'm going to charge you? Because I only charge you one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if he fights on death, can he epic challenge? No, I'd have to bank on my unit killing. Mm. Right. That unit. Uh, right, so my two card draws is behind enemy lines and extend battle lines. So you've got extend. Mm -hmm. uh, you get 10 on primary. I do get 10 on primary, yep. Uh, um, this unit might be able to get behind enemy lines if they can advance and get to here. Yeah. You probably need like a two on your two or three on your advance, right? Yeah, it's behind this wall, isn't it? Yeah. So as it currently stands... If I, I mark am, it out for you... I'm six inches. Well, we know I just need to be behind this wall. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Right, so I'm six inches there. Yeah. Then this is three. So I need to clear that, and then yeah. that will get me basically there. So I reckon I need a four on an advance roll to get that, yeah. to get behind enemy lines. We've got three CP to re-roll that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, okay, cool. So you can mute. No, I think I can just probably... I'm going to over moment that unit there. Yep. Um, I will go into the Assault Doctrine and I'll spend a CP to put this unit in the Devastated Doctrine. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, yeah, what I'm going to do for the command phase. So then we're on to the movement phase. You can do some moving. Oh. Let's actually, just move this way. <clears throat> you should just park in the middle of the objective. Yeah. This unit will advance. Grim Dark Darn. Ash has been a member for five months. Good old Ash. That's what we like. Just picked up just picked up my VIP for LVA workshop. Woohoo! If the academy is anything to go by, then it should be wicked. But it was the ribs that sold me. Yeah. Honestly, same. <laughs> Only two be able to shoot those dudes? Yep. Uh, so this unit here, the big <laughs> advance move. Chris. I need a four. It's a three. CP. Gonna have to CP this. Chris, Chris, uh, don't call the giggly ghost a lizard. <laughs> he's done it. He's got the four. Got the behind butt. That's uh, exactly what you needed. Yep. Yeah. There you go, mate. And and if giggly ghost, if you're lucky, I'll explain to you what lizard means in military speak. Lizard. <laughs> you're lucky if, when you're older. Now, the Emperor's Champion, he will advance. He's rolled a four. Hmm? Nice. He's moving ten. Hashtag not my champion. But I've got a problem. What's the What's problem? That? And do you know what it is? You nope. need the toilet? You need to urinate? You've got blood surge. I do. And if you blood surge into me, you will fight before I do. That's true. And I don't have two CPs. <laughs> I either... If I'd have got more to shoot, I would have shot you. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I'd need a one. four on the blood surge to get. This is going to advance. <laughs> so, go! <laughs> Charges! Yep. Empress champion! Yep. You shall charge. You need a, a three, mate. <gasps> I am in I, on a I, turn. I think that's more than enough. You are correct, George. 10 is indeed more than three. It is. Hoo, hoo, Everyone. Damn. Master of maths, you'll never sing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've just been... 
Okay, I will spend a CP here to Epic Challenge. Khan fights on death automatically. Yeah. Um. Oh. Yeah. Let me double check something. Oh, do I want plus one to wound for the entire unit? I'm wound on threes anyway. Uh, so in the last turn, because I wasn't in engagement range for this unit, I've got to take a leadership check. If it's failed, then one of my guys is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on, Jordan. Okay. Yeah. But I appreciate the honesty. Yeah. Right, I'm not going <laughs> to uh, epic challenge. I'm going to spend one CP plus one to wound. Okay. Okay. Um, and it's time. And everyone's dead. To bring the rain. You ready? Yep. Yep. Okay, so the Thunder Hammer. I will boost up. How many wounds has Khan got? Six or more than six? Five. Okay, cool. So I'll just go for plus one attack. Yep. So the Thunder Hammer. Two hits. Yep. Two. Steve, you know the Emperor's Champions already got position. Good point. Thank you. Uh, don't thank me, thank Michael. Uh, <laughs> two saves with the. Um, two saves. Two saves. Fives. Uh, nope. There's two damage each from the Thunder Hammer. So first one, live on one wound. No, he's dead. He's dead. Funham has done his job. Then we've got, oh, I need oh. to roll your next attack, by the way. Yeah. Because I only rolled three dice. I need to roll four. One more save, please, with the Funham Hammer. Two more, two more damage. Cool. Okay, cool. Then we've got six attacks with the Lightning Claws. They've all hit. <coughs> and we're wounding on twos. Threes, right? Yes, but I've spent one CP plus one to wound. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Six AP twos, one damage each. You can't wait for Ash to adopt me and take Three, the Three, and then sixes. Cool. Two die. Cool. I'll do the fight and death in a sec, right? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. Uh, and then I've got a... How many guys left? Uh, you've done one, two. So three guys left. These are the two normal dudes. I'll go with the Master after Power Sword because it's baller. Uh, do, do, do. He hits on twos, and then wounds on twos, four, AP two, two damage. Okay, two go through. So the first one, dead. Second one, dead. So this Berserker's dead. Cool. Right, now we'll go with the Empress Champion. He wants all the glory. Seven attacks here. Yep. On to Khan. He's hit. He has. He's, he's, wounds. Wounds. he's wounding on twos. Yep. Are they dev wounds? Uh, no. Can, oh, can't he also like re-roll stuff versus characters? Or he gets that? plus one to wound. Oh. Yeah. Six. Involves. Yeah. Three go through. Nine damage. I, I can make these. I've seen you roll well. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Khan is dead, but he will fight back. When do I declare the... Um, Epic challenge? No, the blood offering. That was just destroyed. So, because what I'm thinking is if Khan can pick up this unit, right. I could sticky this objective. Which order is it done in? So, you've just died, yep. but you haven't fought yet. Yep. But you are removed after you've fought. Yep. So, if you kill the unit before you're removed, yep. um, then... Yeah, I mean, you could spend a CP to epic challenge. Yep. And therefore, you could kill my character. Yep. Well, I can do that anyway. I've got two. Okay. I can do both here. You... Blood offering is the sticky objectives, I think. Steve's yeah, thinking sorry, about blood the offering other one. sticky objectives. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is if I can kill this unit yeah. through these fight on deaths, yeah. I could sticky this objective and I've got this now into my turn. Do Does you, that make sense? Do you hold it at the point of having lost all those models? Yes. Also, didn't you go yeah, fight on okay. death anyway? The yeah, yeah, so they got so fight on death. Either way, you can use it. Yeah. yeah okay, so I'm, what I'm asking is, can I use it after I've done the attacks? Yeah, yeah. So I can do it after I've done these attacks? Yeah. Okay, yeah. right, that's all I wanted to so know. So you've got two CPs. You're going to spend a CP on that? Yep, yeah, and a CP on um, Epic Challenge. You, you could save it. Can't, you can't Epic Challenge on death. Just yeah, Sorry, because you're not being selected to, to fight. Is that right? a selective fight, is it's it? It's a selective fight. Epic I just challenge. checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So don't do that, but you might better then kill the unit anyway. And then, of course, Angron might come back if you spend that, if you kill, kill the unit anyway. Okay, right, cool. So who are so, you going to go with first? Go with the models first. Yeah, so four normal five, guys. Four normal guys. 
Three of them to fight. Yeah, and then one Eviscerator. Yeah. Oh, it could be coming so, true. It's eviscerator coming. first. Uh, do you want to go with? Do Khan first. Might be worth it because uh, he's got the most damage, and I don't have Armor Contempt. Plus, cool. um, the Empress Champion can blank a damage anyway. All right. So do Khan first. Yeah. Go on. Twos. Real ones. ones. Cool. Nice. All right, and these are strength six, so threes. Okay, five, so five saves. So you'd have to... Um... Five ups, I can take them all. Oh yeah. Three dead. Yep. Then chainsword, or the eviscerate, sorry. Go with the eviscerate, yeah. Uh, Reroll ones. Yep. Uh, twos. Two. Another one dead, so that's yep. four dead. And one. Two, and then, thank you very much. This is the normal attacks. Mm -hmm. Reroll once. Nice. And then threes. Yep. Reroll once. Nice. AP one, yeah? Yep. Pretty cool. I got three wounds. How many have died so far? So I killed three with Khan. Mm -hmm. Four have died. Four have died. Four, so, okay. One wound's gone through. Two, Two wounds. wounds. Right, so the, the squad's dead. Yeah. But I can't kill the, um, the champion. And then Emperor's champion, three up save. He's fine. So the unit's dead. Yep. So now you spend your thing to um, bring we'll back see. Angron. Yep. We'll see, we'll see if he comes back. Come on, Angron. I can't believe you've gone for the red dice again because they're not doing you any favours. They're not. Right. Neither are they! <laughs> we're literally as useless as a chocolate tea, but... We're trying, guys. We, we really are trying. I say just have him back. No, I think, it's alright. I think by this I time... I want to see him! <laughs> I think by this time you probably should have had him back. No, look, I, you've given me enough this game. I don't want to... Right, if I roll you three sixes, you can have it. If I roll, we should all roll it. <laughs> Do you believe that I can roll three sixes? After, no! I, I, I don't believe it at all. I'm gonna flex roll it. <sighs> I don't have a berserker. You do currently? Steve, Steve. That's close. We we just had to rely on you for rolling three sixes. Like, yeah. there's no hope. Did roll two. This is useful as like a hay bale front line. Give me four over. Leave the Empress Champion, please. It's all of them, right? Yeah. The only issue is. I can just consolidate onto the objective, right? Yeah. So I can't. So don't bother spending that CP. Well, it was mm. worth it, I think, just in case you killed him. But it was worth. Yes, yeah, so yeah. just keep your CP. Yeah. Cool. Because you would have been able to see the result before you decided to spend it, right? Yeah. Uh, would you? What do you mean? I don't think it really. Yeah, I don't think it's that. I'll take the stage. Is. It's, it's oh, not right. cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. What did you score, Steve, at the end of that turn? So, behind enemy lines, for three, please. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I've only got... Yes, Daddy. And then I've what? only got one unit for behind enemy lines. And what else do you get? And then I've got Seven. extend battle lines for five. Cool. And then George? I get five points for the primary. Very good. And secondary ones? Attempt and target. That Empress Champions looking pretty tasty. <laughs> Cool, I'll CP and get rid of it. Well, no, you okay. can see the other card. I've already got assassination. Oh, really? Did you want to burn that, though? At the end of my turn, you could have burned it. <coughs> you can only burn it your turn, can't you? That's right. Yeah. Oh, so that, I wouldn't have right, been able okay. to do that. Uh, engage on all fronts. Cool. Um, well, let's see if I get Angron back. Yeah. Not that it actually... Oh, it doesn't matter. Why? It does oh, matter. Oh, yeah, it does matter. It does of course matter. it matters. If I re-roll... Not a single six. Can I roll it? Yeah, Jake, you have a roll. Yay! Come on, Jake. We may even get Billy to roll at this point. Should everyone have a go? Yeah. Right, ready? Right, Jake's go. Come on, Jake. That, I look like I've been punched by anger, honestly. Yeah. Whee! Whee! First time. <laughs> <laughs> no look roll. <laughs> I think he gets them back, then. Sit down. There you go. Sit down. That's your re-roll. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Jake. That was your re-roll. You didn't re-roll it. To be fair, I didn't see it. There you so, go. Okay, cool. 
Let's do this then. You've got three sixes and you've got a pair of fives. Pair of fives. Mm. What do you want? What's double really five? Good roll. Lethal. <laughs> you could go for advance in charge because you could absolutely zip him over there. I can't go for advance in charge. Why not? Because it's a triple four, four plus or double six. And I've had to spend the triple six to, uh, of course, yeah. to get angry on him. I don't think you spend them. Yeah, you do. It doesn't say that you spend them, right? It just says if you roll a triple six. I don't know. If, has it been ruled it's differently? It's on Angron's data sheet. It's not uh, on there. Uh, I don't know if it's been ruled in a specific way by yeah. a tournament organiser, but it doesn't it say, say you spend them. It just says if uh, you roll them. Start the battle round. You can make a Blessings of Corn roll. Roll 8d6. You can use those dice to activate up to two Blessings of Corn from the Blessings of Corn list. But Angron's each one Each Blessing of Corn specifies the dice result required. You can only activate each Blessing once per round. It says you can use a triple six from that role to use this ability. Uh, yeah, okay, so you would so spend so the, it. The you use is the phrasing. Yeah. Yeah, so... Just go feel my pain. George. George. Yeah. You got anger on back. I, I've helped you. I've helped um, you in this regard. Engage on all fronts. What would I have? You can't do it. What was the other one you wrote? Drew before that, that you've decided to change. Tempting target. Tempting target. I'd well, keep it. Because you would have seen, because you could have seen the roll and then drawn the cards, right? Because I can tempt you with this, drop down in charge, right? Sure. If you're okay with that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, in right. theory, you could roll the dice, right, and then draw the card. Do you mind popping them eight yep. away, please? Or nine away, sorry. Do, 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 do. Cool. Uh, you would actually have to do the roll before the cards because it's, it's the battle round that you do the roll. Yeah, the cards are go. command phase, so you'd have to do, do you, the roll. So you know he's coming back. <laughs> yep. yep. Cool. <laughs> Chris said if he didn't roll a triple six, you would have drove over for the roll. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> charges. That's yeah. literally all there is. So we've got Angron's charge. So I need Here's the interesting one, right? Because you've got Assassinate. The auto six advance on this guy may have even been better. Well, I can't. Do you know what I mean? Dan Angron? Because this is a risk. Yeah. And what? Angron lets you inbuilt reroll charge. 10. Auto 6. What's Auto the charge? Six. It's a same eight. charge. It's it's exactly same. Okay, cool. Uh, so, do you want to go for this one or that one? Where, where do you want to hit? Do him? Angron. Angron's more epic. Okay. Just, just a had a comment in chat. Does engage on all fronts let you redraw if you have less than three units? Well, that was Drew after Tempting Target. But I suppose yeah. you could... It's all right. I'm keeping Tempting Target. Okay. I'm going for it. He's in. And Grod's in. He's in, baby. But can I kill Centurion? Oops. I don't know. We actually get to see what Angron gets to do. You're mm. welcome. What's your AP? Thank you, Jake. Uh, AP4. Sorry, Daddy. Oh, I'm a contempt. because I've got nothing else to do. Cool. So I've got nine attacks. Here we go then, baby. Come on. Yeah, nine attacks. Can he do anything? Hit on twos. What would you What would you have gone for ability wise? You had a uh, plus one to charge. Plus one to charge. Yeah, that's what okay. I would have gone for. Cool. Is it plus one to charge? Is it? It's yeah. plus one to charge on his one. Cool. Yeah. All right then. Let's yeah. do it. Add one to the roll. Dropped one. Dropped one. Yeah. Could you have had sustained or anything? Um, oh, you went for feel no pain. I went feel no pain. Yeah. Uh, strength 16, so twos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five up saves here. Yeah. I'll oh, have a day off. Killed four. <laughs> uh, D6 plus two. How many wounds each? Four. Okay, so if I roll a one, one's not dead. Yeah. <sighs> Is that outside the box? It's dead. Cool. Four dead. dead. Four dead. Do, do. <laughs> Well, that was exciting. <laughs> so, cool. Anyway. Four tubbies dead. Turbs. Cool. So, okay. I'm not going to get assassinate, but I will get tempting target. Okay. Woo. So, five points for tempting target there. Mm. Nice. So, Steve. Oh, you could have. No, it wouldn't have helped you. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, what do you get on primary to ten. start? Ten. Is this the last turn of the game? Yes, yep. it is. Okay, cool. Uh, my two cards are attempting target. This one, Benny? The one that one, yeah. <laughs> And then secure no man's land. So you've got that for five, so you mm. just need to go ten for the target. How many OC is he? Six. Cool. 
Cool. Do I want to redraw that? And you haven't maxed secondary cards yet. I'll keep it as is. Uh, this unit here, I will... How many CPs have I got? One or One. two? One. I will auto pass their battle shocks. Yep. Because I need all the OC I can here. All right. And I have been used on my doctrines. Yep. So I'm going to go straight into Oath Moment. Obviously Angron. Obviously Angron. Um, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to move on to the, you know, let's do this carefully. So he's going to move to there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the building. <laughs> Just to toe onto the old objective there. Yep. Um, and then the tubs. Going to have to advance. Yes, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> this unit's going to move six. They're like, hut, 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 hut. You still need to hold three, though, aren't you, too? Oh, do I need to hold my home objective? No. You don't. You just need to hold three objectives, mate. Yeah. There is an Emperor, Emperor's Champion up top, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I've got the Emperor's Champion I, up there. I forgot about it. He's saving me that one. Got this one. One within nine. The tubs need a tubs within eight. So I need a four advance to contest. But then I can't shoot them. Mm. You just got to rely on killing him, right? You got two land raiders and probably the centurions would just. So that in that case, their OC doesn't matter, does it? No, Not really. Kill the Gron. All right, we'll see if I can kill him then. Yep, that's what we'll do. Oh, why is it only in the fight phase? Here we go then. Well, oh, minus we ready? one damage. Yeah. I know, it's so very... I wish that was... You could have done that in a... This guy point. here, into this. Yep. Last cannons. All hit. Threes. Oh no, I dropped two already. Uh, do you want to twin linked, right? No, these are just the oh, sorry. Land Raider. Yeah, two two invents. One's One gone through. One. The damage is seven. Seven. Okay. seven. <laughs> Five damage. Five damage. Puts me down to eleven. Okay. Does he come back with all of his wounds left? He does. Yeah. yeah of course he does. No, he saved pants. With his four he wounds didn't. remaining. Yeah. Right. Two multi -matter shots. One hit. Fell to wound. Right, heavy bolter. It's not heavy, it's my brother. Three hits. Uh, Six is right. One, AP yep. one. You're okay. It. Right. I'll come back to the storm waters if I need them. Here. Two last cannon shots. The centurions. Two hits. Turbs. Twin linked. Turbs. Damn it. One. I'm going to CP reroll that. Ooh. Good job, Ah, oh, damn. Damage is three. Would you three. CP reroll that, Steve? No, probably not. No. Do, 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 do. Takes three more. Puts me down to eight. Okay, the rockets. Four shots. Turbs. Oh, I haven't even used this unit. Yeah. I'll put this unit in the old Assault Doctrine. No mm -hmm. advance. I completely forgot I had them. Right. Um, I'm assuming you don't mind, by the way. No, 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 absolutely not. Mate, carry on. I'm um, assuming you don't mind if you still <laughs> want to have so a job here. Three shots. <laughs> yep. I've hit. And. Strength? Strength nine, just one. One. Sorry. That's right, mate. Steal all the dice, aren't I? All You're good. okay. Right, Centurions didn't do it. What about the this other guy. One? Two multi metal shots. Two hits. One wound. Mm. Loves it. Oh, wanted that one to go through. <laughs> Last cannons. Four hits. Uh, three wounds here. I'm yep. No, I'm going to save my... I yeah, spent the CP on CP, that. Yeah. I spent the CP on this unit to go in Assault Dock. Yeah. Two, two gone through. through. Oh, that is two plus five is seven. 
Oh, so one off of killing him. Thank you. Uh, two more. Even if George fails, you feel no pain. So I've got six failed there, so I'm on two left. Two wounds. Um, the heavy bolter. Sustained. Oh, wowzers. Sixes. You will get oh, cover though. Two up. Oh no, three up because you won't. You don't get cover on. You will. Heavy Not balls. on a two plus save. You do. Cover doesn't make, get you. No, but the AP reduces. It doesn't improve. Oh. You. All good. Right. The storm bolt was actually matter. Wow. He's already lost then. Stephen Box is rolling storm bolts out. <laughs> Front page of Reddit. Nothing. Uh, yeah, what these guys got? Some shots? Uh, yeah, two shots each. Hitting on threes. Oh, three saves! <laughs> two ups. Oh, right, we're into the charge phase. Hellbreck. What's Hellbreck need? Not sure. This is going to be so funny if Hellbreck kills He's him. within He's 10. Trickle treat London. <laughs> need a 10. Yeah. The tubbies are going to charge. I, I'll actually take their leadership because obviously I decided not to keep them fine anyway. Right, the tubbies are charging. The tubbies have made it on 11. I wish I saved that for Hellbreak. Use that for Hellbreak. Save so proud of no, my no, cousins. No, no, no. It's all good. 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 Good, 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 good. Right, this unit here, they're going to charge in. Yep. Seven. It's not enough. Six even. How many CP have you got, George? I've got one. Oh, so you can't interrupt. Hellbrecht. Quite sad. Come on, Hellbrecht. No! That's not what you wanted to do. Idiot! Right. The ghost that laughs also apparently throws sass as well, it seems. So, the tubbies. <laughs> oh the hardings. <laughs> my brethren. Go, my tubby brethren. Three attacks each, you should Kill be scared. No, oh, I'm terrified, mate. Hang on, fours. Oh, oh now no. you should be. They are so rotund. <laughs> rotund. <laughs> No wounds. Ow. And then you kill me back. Everyone yeah. smash. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. All right, Go so on. that concludes my turn. I did not get. But you got secure. I got secure, yeah. And then at the end of the game, George, you're going to get five, and Steve, you're going to get 15. I'll but... get 10, actually. 10? Oh, yeah, because you rolled that, didn't you? Yeah. Good job. And then Steve gets 15, but he caps at 50. So quick maths. I think you might have got it. I don't think so. I think you might have It's have closer than I think you think, George. Yeah. No, you, you guys are giving me a lot today, so I don't, I don't think... What's my next card if I had a Burnt Tempting? Cleanse. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why would you do that to yourself? George, Rule number one. That would been five Never points. Never check. If I've lost by five points, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I've got one. What's the score? I think George. Yeah, we're got just it. checking whether anyone's gone over the cap for primary. No, no one has. Oh, Steve did, but that's what you should have. Okay. Steve, these dice have just rolled four twos and a one. Mm. Well, when I oh, came over and rolled them, they rolled <laughs> very well. So what you see before you is the scores, guys. Well, um, Jordan, it's been a pleasure, regardless. Yeah. This is our final stream of the year. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I'll get, I'll get next week off. We're not in shot, are we? So, I'll, okay. get, I'll get next week off. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Jordan, what's the final scores? I, think I thought you were, we were asking Jordan then. Like, he doesn't know. Contestants, <laughs> you've done very well. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You beat judges' houses. We, mm. we finished before 10 o'clock. Mm. We finished before 10 o'clock. I wish... Oh, Jordan? I yep. Your score has a seven in it. It's not good enough, mate. I got 77. It is 77. Is it? Ooh! Ooh! Which is very respectable. Mm. Not, not at 88 though, is it? That'd be cool yeah, number. Yeah, I, I failed in my mission. Steven? Boxer and Vanguard Tactics. Your score is 89. Mate, just absolutely smashed just. it. Pipped it. Pipped it. Just, just, just pipped it. Just. Well, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, been a pleasure, mate. Snuck in there at the end with the win. Mm. Going second mm -hmm. with the 15 points. I think, no, I think you comfortably won it without the, well, the primary mission. There we go. Steve? Yes? Well done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank um, you, everybody. I think, considering this is the last... Don't clap, ghost, in the other room. Um, do you want to say something to the viewers, considering this is the last stream of the year, then? Well, technically, unless you are 
uh, there for the members' lounge. Yeah, so uh, just want to say uh, sun's out, guns out, um, rules to live by. Oh, I'm um, just slamming it and I'll see you there. <laughs> so. Always make sure you're orange. Mm. And um, <coughs> honestly, this year has been probably the hardest year that I can remember mm. in quite some time. Um, myself, the entire team have worked tirelessly this year. Um, everybody's put in so much effort. I can't be more grateful to absolutely everybody here and everybody that's not here as well that's helped out throughout the channel throughout the year uh, whether it's just volunteering for a stream helping build us some models all of your super chats your donations everybody that's become a member all the academy students uh, everyone that's signed up for the master class um, and all of our sponsors as well absolutely everybody has put a shift in this year to help this channel keep going um, to improve to progress to build um and i really feel like we've you know got some solid foundations now and it's all because of you at back home who have subscribed who like our videos you share it with your friends you leave us nice comments you make it so worthwhile for us uh throughout all the trolls and the rest of it that there's a few out there and even thank you to you you boost our algorithm haha <laughs> so anyway <laughs> <laughs> um anyway so also final one is a massive thank you to games workshop for actually mm. Um, giving us this whole thing to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they get a lot of stick, I think, from time to time. Um, sometimes it's, you know, probably fair game. Yeah. Other times, we just need to be a little bit more grateful that we even have this game to make 100%. awesome content about. Um, I'm really, really excited for the next year, 2024. We're going to see, or you're going to see, a bigger, better, improved Vanguard Tactics we're going to keep on growing. We're going to work even harder than we have this year. Sorry, everybody. But yeah, that's <laughs> the, we can't rest on our laurels now, can mm -hmm. we? True. And True. Um, we want to bring you some awesome, epic content. We've got some huge plans. Um, obviously, Games Workshop have announced the old world is coming back. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Finally! <laughs> so that is, that is going to be something in which we do. Um, and we're really, really looking forward to bringing... 2VT. Um, it was certainly a game that I started playing when I was younger. Yeah. Um, we've got plans to do Age of Sigmar as well. We've been painting up all the collections that we've got here at the studio. Um, so honestly, I can't be more grateful for all of you back home. And I just hope that whoever or wherever you're spending your Christmas, with or where, I just hope you have a lovely Christmas day. And if you ever feel alone, reach out to us. Me and Jake, we always do our Christmas live stream, don't just, we? I was just about to say, do you want to do a Yep. Merry Chrysler live stream. We'll do it on my Instagram channel uh, at the Vanguard Tactics. Uh, I'll put up a post of when we're going to do that. So if you want to just say hey and um, wish us Merry Christmas, we'll be doing that for you. And if you get at all any you know lonely points, whatever, then just reach out to us, okay? And I'll do my best to answer everybody's messages. And that's me, I think. So Stephen yeah. Box out. Yeah. Well, amongst a flurry of Merry Christmases. Uh, we do have um, five gifted uh, memberships from Tattoo Tabletop. Merry Legend. Christmas, James. Uh, and we also have a £10 super chat from Stephen Murray, Merry Chrysler. <laughs> and uh, someone did ask for a 2023 flex, Steve. So if you wouldn't mind to see us out. There we go. Small.